we did stuff and things. I have these characters. They are named Spoonie, Doesn't, Play, and Games. And that's the gist of it, I guess. We got a boat. And boats are cool. I like boats. Hey, more chocobo woods. Wait, why is there chocobo woods here? Oh, maybe we can fly later. Oh. Hey, molten cave. Wait, can I go here? I don't know if this is where I was supposed to go. This might not be where I was supposed to go. I think I was supposed to go talk to the dwarves first. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Nothing terrible will happen to us. Well, not to sound conceited, Majin, but I think Spoonie is my favorite. <laughs> uh, so hi, how you doing? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, we could die, I guess. A wall of fire is obstructing the path. Or that, or we could get plot locked. I guess that's technically the worst because that means we can't go anywhere. I mean, he might be obvious, but he is right. When do we get sword chucks in FF3? That's a good question. I hope soon. So, yeah, basically we're supposed to be, yeah, I don't know, going to this island. Oh yeah, here's the dwarves, cool. So, the too long didn't read is, um, that one, that one dude whose name really just sounded like Desk found out that his amnesia made him forget that he was an ancient and he was supposed to protect this tower. So we killed Medusa and he said the only way to stop this tower, which is the only thing holding up this floating continent, is for me to dive straight into the center of it. So that's what he did. And he died? Which really reminded me a lot of Final Fantasy 2, to be honest. And then he, I guess he saved it and he told us, here, go uh, forth and meet with the dwarves. You gotta save things. Yep. Lolly ho! <gasps> Lolly ho to you too, dwarf friend. You're doing well, Maj, and I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing great, thank you for asking. How could you let him get away? You got to get that horn back from that thief! Hurry to the underground lake! Oh. Our treasured horns are delicately carved out of ice, but that conniving thief stole one, the scoundrel! Lolly, no! <laughs> Lolly, no. <laughs> the horn of ice was stolen. That part's less funny. That's horrible villain. Gutso took one of our horns of ice. Gutsco? He ran off to the subterranean lake, but dwarfs don't float. How are we supposed to get our treasures back? Uh, they don't float, huh? So does that mean I need to buy a spell of float? Do you know where the village of Gissel is? Well, I'll tell ya, it's across the outer sea, far, far to the east, like Gissel Greens. Lolly, no! <laughs> I will not be getting over that anytime soon. I guess I should buy one of those. Yeah, it's true. Spoonie doesn't play. She don't play. She ain't playing. Okay, I don't need another cheer thing. I have one of those. I can't equip it without being a warrior. Just some arrows. Wow, that's a big price difference. But it is for more punchy, so I feel like we should buy it. That's a big up for punchies. Um, 
You know, I don't care. I want, I would rather have the money than that. Same thing for the Antarctic wind. I just don't, I don't care about those. They don't seem particularly useful compared to the amount of money things cost us. wrath for now and I'm gonna check out the armor store and there's still the magic store oh wait no there isn't a magic store rip hey iron torch I think well BGG took I think a week off right so I, I saw he was starting the first one earlier today I don't know if he was just gonna do like slow roll playthroughs or try to push through them, but the pixel remasters are really good and I think they would definitely work for the fiestas if that's what they wanted to do. Ooh, Ice Helm. Yes, please. Uh, nah, I don't want a shield though. I'm gonna save the rest of my money. good oh wait no we are using a shield never mind maybe i should buy a shield then <laughs> that's right because i was switching to using swords with my red mage i decided to go ahead and use shield so we'll grab that oh uh, yeah you do assign jobs to this one basically final fantasy 3 is kind of what created the basis for the final fantasy 5 job classes Save, and let's go see what's downstairs. Oh, okay. A boulder blocks the way. That is unfortunate. Maybe one of these dwarves can help me out. Hi, Turtle. How are you doing? So that's what an invisible barrier looks like. <laughs> Wait, so how, how did y'all even... Riven Hollows B3, okay. Shall we dive under? And how exactly are we supposed to do that? Maybe we have to become frogs first. Are you for reals? Am I gonna have to become frogs again? <laughs> Why does this game revolve so much around becoming a frog? Just something I'm noticing. I mean, I think the diagonal walking is pretty cool. Also, hi, Techie. How are you? All right, so... Magic? Oh wait, that's right, as we had to... Whoopsie. Well, I forgot it does not ask you if you want to do any of that, so we're just gonna have to spend extra money, it's fine. The game really wants your characters to croak? I guess maybe. Maybe so, Prosperous, maybe so. Oh, so hi. Hi, Jason. How are y'all doing? Yep, we're a frog now. We frog. We leapfrogging. Does that mean we're playing educational games from the 90s? Alright, we're frogs now. Let's get going. Cool. Uh, 
Ah, yes, that was the solution. Become frog. Also, wait a minute. I'm gonna see if I can unfrog now that I'm down here. I should probably see if I can unfrog now. to be frogs just to dive under the lake, but here we are. The chest contains gold needle. Works rough, all but you're still going. Well, I'm glad to hear you're hanging in there, Techie, and I hope things get better soon. You're doing a right turn? You cooked the steak today. Oh, that sounds yummy. I hope your voice feels better soon, too. Zeus's wrath, I'm probably gonna sell. Man, play hits real hard. Oh, good, you got some money from work, so you got some nice chairs. Oh, awesome! Glad to hear it. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I had a nice weekend. I just played video games with angry trees pretty much. <laughs> That's most of what I did. I probably should have bought more gold needles, I guess. Seems like it would have been a good plan. I, only ha I have one. I have a single gold needle. That might be an issue. <laughs> It'll probably be fine, right? Just don't, just don't get turned into stone forehead. chest had a gold needle in it. Looks like I don't need to panic. Hey, a second one! Yay! Thanks, Final Fantasy 3, for providing me with shit when I was unprepared. Yeah, they knew. They knew I was gonna come in here underprepared. Hi, Nero. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Oh, how's Warrior in 14? Uh, yeah, I, I noticed around level 60 it starts to get a little bit tougher. But I bet you were doing great, and you could probably pick up some good gear from uh, Stormblood by then, right? Did I dye my hair again? My greens are looking extra green today. Oh, thank you! Uh, the last time I refreshed my hair dye was... I think about a month ago, but I did actually get more hair dye in the mail, so I'm gonna be probably re dyeing it. I don't know, maybe this Monday or Tuesday? I did straighten my hair, which I think probably brought out some more of the green. Oh, yeah, that's right. At 60, you can get the eye level 270 gear. I forgot about that. That should definitely help. Hey, that dude's on the stage. I bet he's our friend. Do, 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 do. That guy just sprayed his 
bad breath on me. Wow! Really? What? The combination of those statuses is something else to behold. <laughs> that is a frog with an open mouth, sunglasses, silence while asleep, paralyzed, and poisoned. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> That's very goofy. I enjoy it. Also, this. Look at how good this is. Frog happy to be alive. Frog such a cool, cool guy. I love it so much. <laughs> this pixel remaster is just so good. Wait, are we somehow minied and frog? We're minied and frogged. I didn't even know that you could be mini and frogged at the same time. That's amazing. My my brain is just like so confused about how that even works. Oh my god, can I even oh good, I can cast Toad on myself. It's fine, we'll eventually fix this. <laughs> Hi Tina, did you see my cool frog? <laughs> I love, I love the Pixel Remaster so much. Hi, Raiders. Hi, I'm Spooity. And I play, well, I guess according to Final Fantasy III, I don't play games, but I do have this lovely video to welcome you to the stream. <laughs> games but I do have a Congo African gray parrot named Ollie and um, this controller in my hand is just just uh, really good Photoshop effects <laughs> hi I love RPGs and retro games and things welcome how are you all doing today welcome to awesome August a month-long celebration of me streaming for six whole heckin years on Twitch we have a whole bunch of sub goals and incentives with special events going on. If you're interested in checking any of those out, you can type exclamation point August. How are you doing today, Tina? Also, Bards, y'all should go follow Tina because she's great. Do it. You fucking won't. Do it again. You won't. <laughs> Hi, Meander. Hi, Pinecone. Hi, Flynn. Hi, Mr. Guanyu. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to quick save. Yeah, all right, let's fight this man in um, a speedo? Not sure. Oh, step back. Get away from the horn if you want to keep living. No. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I see. Hey, it's not a speedo. He doesn't play games. Yo, it's not a speedo. He's wearing a snake. You know someone's dangerous when they don't wear any clothes. They just wear a snake. <laughs> joke for leaving but I couldn't think of one. Hi Anerbite. Hey Wafo. This is a dark place, says Flip. <laughs> oh wait, does that make me like an evil overlord? Because that actually sounds really cool because usually being an evil overlord comes with an incredibly fashionable cape. Can I have this fashionable cape? Hate to see him go, but love to watch him slither away. <laughs> oh my god, and he leaves behind a horn. Dude, why were the developers of Final Fantasy 3 like this? Were they just. We need. Y'all need to go to jail, okay? <laughs> I swear, don't make me pull out that throwing the game in horny jail thing that Trop made me specifically for Fire Emblem. I will bring that out again. <laughs> so help me. Oh my goodness. Do I have any of those hammers? I thought I bought some of those anti-mini hammers, but I guess I didn't. Hey Henrik, how are you doing? Rogue on day to come. Hi 
Koga. How are you doing? Also, I just realized I could totally use teleport to get out of here. Also, also, those sunglasses are huge on games right now, and I love it. It's ridiculous. I love it. The small. Is that guy dances? Is he doing the mamba? <laughs> Hi, Bardo. How are you? Nice. Teleport's so good. Yo, we got your crystal, which apparently looks like a line when I'm holding it. It's our horn! You're the mist! Now put it back where it belongs, please! Hang on, I'll take down the bar! Ahoy! Give me the jam! Space Dandy! Thank you so much for gifting out 10 subs to the community. Welcome on in to Carly Loves Alfredo, F Bread TV, Fluffineer, The Darkiest, Doomswake, Dark Fear Rock, Firefang, Quark, View Patty, and Weak Knees. I hope y'all enjoy 30 Days of Emotes, courtesy of Space Dandy. Thank you so much! Also, hi! I hope you're doing well today! That does also, I believe, bring us to 600 sub points! which was our next goal for Awesome August, which is really rad because that means that we have officially unlocked our next incentive, which is me playing the Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide Randomizer. Please look forward to it. I'm gonna be scheduling that out for uh, probably, maybe even later this week, who knows? If I can get it set up later this week, if not, next week for sure. Probably Wednesday. ASAP. Thank you, Space. Thank y'all so much for all the awesome manga support. Let me mark that in our pace bin that we have met that one. Bam. Our next goal is going to be at 700 sub points. So let me update this over here too. I like the music in here. Groovy. That'll be it. 700 is our next one. And at 700 sub points, we're gonna be doing a streamy single, which is basically a one day normal length stream of a thing. This one will be Banjo-Kazooie for the Nintendo 64, which I will actually be playing off of the N64 cart on my original Nintendo 64 that I got for Christmas in the 90s. This, yep, that's where it goes. I have a confession. I really want to click canoe. I'm going to do it. Damn it. <laughs> One day I will be able to put the canoe somewhere. Because it'll be funnier that way. Ha ha ha. You fools didn't even notice me hiding in your shadows. Now both horns are mine for the taking. Oh, that's not good. Sir, those with both horns of ice in my possession, I can extinguish any flame. The tunnel to the crystal poses no obstacle to me now. The power of the fire crystal will belong to me. God so the great, it's mine, oh mine! So that. The snake man is going to basically open the door to a place that I wanted to go to anyway. Okay! See you there, nerd. <laughs> hey, Pear Tree. Hey, Misery. Hey, my existential thoughts. Hey, Mori. How y'all doing? Yeah, he also just streaked through the dwarf town for what that's worth. 
All right, I guess I, I should probably, I don't know, have some things. I'm just gonna attempt to stock up on important things. have to define whether or not snakes qualify as clothing, so no. <laughs> Do snakes count as clothes? Not sure I ever thought I would ask that question. Yeah, the dwarves didn't stop him. I guess maybe they were just like not sure what to do with a guy walking around just covering his junk with a snake. of lava that I probably shouldn't walk through, but I'm probably going to have to walk through. So that should be fun. I love walking through lava. It's the best. Maybe they thought he was a party member? Maybe so. Ow! That hurt my spleen. When you played the DS version, the same thing happened to you, Bell. So you were like, well, that's convenient. Because uh, he's going to go up and up the place that I wanted to go to. Egg. Nice. <laughs> also, egg. Kenmeister, thank you for five months. Welcome back. Hi, how you doing? Why am I... Wait, is there a reason I'm able to swim in lava and not take damage that I, like, forgot about? that ever being how lava works in any Final Fantasy game ever, so I'm a little confused right now. <laughs> I don't know, is it the Fang of Water? I don't know. I mean, it has the power of water, but it doesn't really say anything. I also don't think any of us are wearing fire resist gear. I have an ice shield. Oh my god, I wonder if that's why. Because he's walking in front with an ice shield? I don't know. When, I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm definitely not going to complain about it. Oh, it's the canoe! Of course. The canoe fixes everything. You can't put it on an altar, but you can swim through lava. Friendly lava. Brought to you by Lava Lamps. Okay, it was like secret path somewhere maybe? I just, like I, I really definitely expected to take damage from this lava. did take some damage from that lava. Apparently my head is not protected from lava. They poured it, wait. Oh, in the 2D version, lava was coated as water with a red color palette and they just poured it over the same logic for the pixel remaster. Oh, I guess that makes sense why it wouldn't hurt then I just I guess I'm used to like Final Fantasy 5 and stuff where that definitely absolutely beat the crap out of you 
Oh man, I can't wield that one. Hi Tempest, how are you doing? Hey Panicspin, thank you! Um, the, I use Pravada's, I think it's just called green? That's the one that my hairstylist used, and I occasionally refresh with other greens. Like, I've used Arctic Fox before, but they also were completely out of all of the greens last time I looked. <laughs> this is probably, like, a month of fading from the last time I refreshed it. It seems to last well. Do -do. but it makes me nostalgic. I like it. <laughs> Green said, I imagine it's pretty confusing if you happen to be playing Final Fantasy XIV while watching someone play the Pixel Remasters. Hi, Heather! Oh, the... Okay, the FF1 Pixel Remaster Lava also hurts you? Then, yeah, I don't know, just must be a Final Fantasy 3 thing. What a crazy random happenstance. Uh, at the moment, Henrik, I am using Red Mage, Black Mage, Monk, and White Mage. Although, you can swap freely to any of them in the Pixel Remasters. You got your pay time off approved for Wednesday and Thursday next week. Oh, nice, Marsh. Egg, gonna have yourself a mini vacation. Pay tour, thank you for 47 months. Hi, how are you doing? Everything in this game is such a bop. <laughs> it's life goals to get someone else to dye your hair. You just use Manic Panic and it stays all right. Yeah, my sister actually used to use Manic Panic a lot when she dyed her own hair. I don't go super often. Like I, I do all the refreshes myself, <laughs> but when I need to get my roots redone, I don't trust myself to do the bleaching, so I go to somebody for it. Uh, I probably wash my hair every two to three days because it's uh, naturally curly and like more thick. So it, I just, I would go longer if I could because I know the longer in between washes, the longer your color will actually stick around. But it's like, if I don't wash my hair every couple of days, then I'm just like, Ugh. sometimes dry shampoo is not enough. since I've played at Elixir Field. I always wanted to get the Mines of Moria expansion because I heard that was the one actually like really worth. Hi Static Shocks, how are you? Hi Twizumer, are you asking me what my preference is between one or two? Because this one's Final Fantasy III. I don't know if I could really decide between one and two, honestly, because they're just kind of different games. What? They have a classic server now? I didn't know that. Yo, that's cool. Thank you, Edition. Uh, yeah, well, the 2D version never came to America. I don't think it's on PSP as far as I know. Um, Final Fantasies 1, 2, and 4, I think, are on PSP. Maybe, maybe some other ones I'm not sure of. Um, I only have FF4 on PSP. Final Fantasy 3 did come out on the DS, but it was a 3D version, and unfortunately, 
it, uh, it gave me motion sickness. Oh, FF3 is on the PSP, but it's also the 3D version. One or two, about the same. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna look good, Ash. I'm excited for you. Hey, Super Snack Bros. Um, I guess I'm not really sure what you mean by you feel like they could have done more. Like, were you looking for more of like a remake kind of thing? Were you looking for like additional content? You're gonna be in that chair forever, though. That's okay. I know how. I know how it feels. Just make sure your char your phone is fully charged. <laughs> That's what I did. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Tech. Well, there was a 2D version of Final Fantasy II that came out on Game Boy Advance, but the original NES version, I don't believe, was ever released of two. Um, and then we got Final Fantasy IV Easy Type. And I think the PSP version might, I don't know, is is the PSP version basically the, the same difficulty as the Super Nintendo JP version? I don't know, I've never played it. No, no, you're fine, Super Snack Bros. Yo, I, I was just genuinely curious, because, like, sometimes I, I like to know, like, if there's something about... A game that I like <laughs> that that it, like somebody else does and I'm like well I wonder why that is oh no and you don't know what your pin is <laughs> that's fine I'm just saying please don't feel bad if like if the pixel remasters left you feeling like a little wanting for something if you do figure out what that is I would love to hear about it because I've been enjoying them so far but I like to hear people's opinions Ha ha ha! With the power of the fire crystal coursing through me, I'm unstoppable! Thing is, I can't tap into the true power of these flames, so long as you goody goodies stand in my way. Nothing personal, but this is where you meet your maker! Gutso attacked with the formidable power of the fire crystal! Oh, hey, he's Salamander. Okay, cool. Can I poison him? Let's find out. I forgot to fully heal before this. Oh, well. That is some bubblegum fire. I dig it. Ooh, that's a good number. Oh, dang it, we missed. Ooh. No, 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 we're fine. I, I got like two more Kiras. Damn, we gotta resist on the Blizzara. Oh, we have three. Okay, so we'll have two more after this. Good hit. Oh, ugh. it's fine. We're fine. Don't panic. Everything's fine. For the pixel remaster super snap Bros, i believe that they rebalanced it which to be fair the nes final fantasies were not uh <laughs> they weren't they were kind of like annoyingly hard like not fun hard it was like old school gaming where they don't really know how to make the game any longer so they just make it really really hacking grindy Um, but yeah, to be fair, I also never played the other versions of Final Fantasy 3. I haven't played 1 and 2's Pixel Remasters yet, but just from what I've heard. I like Final Fantasy 2's GBA version, and I, I know that FF2 Pixel Remaster 
got rid of the like losing stats thing with the original hand, which I'm glad because the GBA version also you didn't lose stats. But losing stats is really just not fun. Oh goodness, that's not good. Okay, you're just gonna spam it. No worries, I guess. Just Spoony! Bruh, can you stop spamming flame? That's cheap! Oh my god, I missed. You gotta be close to dead. Cause that's what you're spamming it. Double, the double flame just absolutely ripped right through my whole party. We'll try again. I'm just gonna, man, it sucks because I feel like our speed must be a little bit low. Because Salamander gets to attack before us like constantly. did give us that choice, Super Snack Bros. I agree. I imagine, though, maybe they didn't, because I, I know from what I've heard in Final Fantasy 1, they changed it so you can get to level 99, so they had to rebalance the later half of the game. So I don't, I don't know. They would have had to, I guess, like, make a whole new system if you wanted to play closer to what the original was. You know, maybe we got this, pending that they don't, um... Pending that he doesn't just spam that over and over again. Which he's going to. <laughs> Dude, what? Alright, now, now this is getting into some old school Final Fantasy bullshit. you with a decent challenge because he's a dick. He's very, he's very moody. He's very upset. He really just wants to spam the same 200 damage AoE spell over and over. For what that's worth. Uh, 
we'll, we'll get him, we'll get him eventually, maybe, I don't know. Hi, Tom, thank you for the raid, how are you doing today? Welcome to hell! <laughs> for this. I feel like maybe I should be able to survive more than one flame. Savage Table, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Well, come on in. Maybe I just got lucky with him mailing so much before. Because, dude, he just... He angy! He's so angy. giant AoE spell over and over. I might have to go level grind just because he's being a jerk. How are you doing? <laughs> Hi, newbie. Hi, battery. Hi, fireheart. Hi, silver moon. Yeah, this is like population owl. My face is on fire. Alright, he just kind of one shot doesn't. That, that's fine, I guess. No problem. RNG seed like I'm playing Final Fantasy 4. <laughs> Yo, this is like when you reset your Super Nintendo at the wrong time. <laughs> Pariah, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Well, come on in. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy the emotes and me screaming at a I don't know, Barney casting fire? I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I guess maybe I could start off by like not being at low health. That would probably help. I just, you know, I wanted to give myself a challenge and instead I'm just getting my face burnt off. Hi, Nibelung, how are you doing? Oh no, did you lose your save silver? Is that what happened? Wait, what, what were you playing today, Trap? I want to hear about it. Samurai Warriors 5? Oh, nice! I forget, was that one of the games that you picked up the other day? Well, 
I sure did try. That went slightly better this time. I might just spam Kira over and over until we're out of it and see how far we get. Just go beat the game. Wait, who are you yelling at to, to beat what? What game exactly? Well, you see, Light Bright, Salaman is just really upset that I told him that I don't need an extended warranty for my car that I don't own. So he's just, he's real angry. He's very upset that I did not want that warranty. So now he's trying to set me on fire. a question for you um did i ever did i ever ask for help did i in any way say hey chat did i ask for advice how many how many final fantasy games have i beaten now and how many different challenge modes thank you I know how I know how Final Fantasy work. Thank you. <laughs> if I want to throw my face at Salamander for six hours, you can't stop me. You literally can't stop me. Also, you know, this game is only like 15 bucks if you want to play it your way, which is totally fine. Just please let me have my way, whatever way that is that I decide.
Also, yeah, I mean, according to Final Fantasy III, I'm not even the one playing this anyway, so don't, don't talk to me. Talk to the bird. playing video games, beating things the hard way without any help, I get a little tired of people conveniently forgetting that I didn't ask for help or that I am perfectly capable of beating over a hundred video games on my own. Hey, Time Wanderer. Thanks for bringing folks over. How are you? Oh my god, that's a great name though, Snowman. <laughs> Somebody needs to have that as a Twitch name. For sure. Hi, Mythic. Yeah, I've been really enjoying this version of the game. I never got a chance to play the DS version because it made me motion sick. So I'm happy I get to play FF3. It's literally the only mainline Final Fantasy I haven't beaten. And oh, hey, look at that! I'm sorry, what was that about tank and spank strategies aren't working? I'm sorry, what? <clears throat> I, hmm. If they don't work, then what was that? <laughs> it's called waiting for RNG to take your favor, which I do because I speed run Final Fantasy. I, what else do I have to do? <laughs> but I don't play games, obviously. Warriors of light, I bestow upon you the power of light kindled within my flames. Now nobody can have car insurance. Yeah! Burn it down, Paul! <laughs> Hi, Aslan. How are you doing today? <laughs> Egg! Egg! Newbie, thank you for the five-month resub. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Nah, I'm always not the only way Ultimate's Darkness. I'm just too stubborn to do it any other way. <laughs> Every way of beating a game is acceptable, pending that, you know, you're not ruining someone else's fun. I just, listen, I'm a very stubborn woman. And if you tell me I can't do something, you bet your ass I'm going to spend as long as it takes doing it the way that you said isn't possible. Received a new title from the Fire Crystal. Ooh, Ranger, Knight, Thief, and Scholar jobs now available. Dope. Hi, Savage, how are you doing? Hi, Shadow. Trop, okay, Trop says he has a deal for chat tonight. If we unlock the bad PS1 stream goal tonight, He'll do two things. He'll watch the original Suicide Squad movie he hates and record his reaction, and he'll play a Final Fantasy IV randomizer. Wait. Wait, Trap, did you finish FF4? I don't remember. Did you finish it? Please tell me that you did beat it, right? You're not okay, it was like, please don't offer to play it if you haven't even played it. <laughs> swag strats, spoony swag strats. Swagger, swag, stuff we all get. <laughs> Thank you, Space Sandy, for the 1,000 bees. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, uh, Trop's offering to play a Final Fantasy for free. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say free Enterprise because free Enterprise is best. You'll also do a Zelda rando. You wanna do a Zelda 2 rando <laughs> too? I feel like you're just adding in things that you wanna do, Trop, which is okay. 
the bad slash weird game night offbeat PS1 titles edition is at 900 sub points, so that is quite a ways away. But Chop's also offering extra goodies for today. Yay! HP and MP. Everything restored. Good. Good. You doing all right, Aslan? You beat A Realm Reborn at 14 the other night. Oh, yay! I hope you enjoy Heaven's Bird. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Hi, Zaru. How are you? Oh, my God. Okay, seriously, if I had room, Paul, I would totally try to play a Final Fantasy game with a DDR pad. That sounds dope. If I had the physical space, I would totally try that. I actually haven't tried the other FF4 rando, so to be fair, I can't I can't really say anything about how good it is. I just know that Free Enterprise is great. Okay, so... We have some new jobs. Ooh, night seems like it would be good. Ranger also says, oh my god, look at Scholar! They can equip books. Can they... Can they use, um... I don't know what spells... Hey, chat! What the heck can Scholar even use in this game? I don't even know. <laughs> what can you use? Oh my god, nothing. I can use nothing. Only book. Uh, okay, I have no idea how Scholar works, so I'm not doing that right this second. <laughs> I will have to figure that out. Oh, do they have a command list? Oh, okay. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because, because play doesn't have any magic anyway. I'm gonna slip this. What happen if uh if I do the thing with what you have? Oh wait, how do I even look at that? Status? Alchemy and study. sounds kind of blue magey. Weird mix of alchemist and blue mage? Perhaps he can use a monocle. <laughs> Hi Loki, how are you doing? <laughs> He's a nerd! I still want to have a monk though because Munch good at, a monk good at punchy. Punchy seems always good. Let's see. Oh man, but I'll have to swap off. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try out Knight. Ooh, I can use Freezing Blade. Seems cool, but I don't have a bow yet, so I'd have to buy some. 
Yeah, apparently alchemy is a thing, which is neat. Yo, who are you? Warriors of Light, you have to help us, ugh. What happened? Tokul, my beloved home, had nothing left to plunder, so they, they're putting it to the torch. Please, you have to save us. Oh my god, how did you get here, though? Pine can change his weakness on a whim. However, a scholar would be able to see through his tricks. Gurk. Well, tartar sauce. <laughs> okay, I guess we're using a scholar then. I'm glad uh, that guy conveniently died so we can learn that information. I don't have any books though. I need some books. Y'all got any of them there uh, leather bound things with the words? You got some words? I'd like some words. Give me the words. Oh my god, he can't wear like anything. Dude, he can't wear anything. I don't know if he can wear a snake. But he's naked except for his helmet, so. <laughs> Hope that's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna take a nap. I take nap here. Let's see, maybe I should... Nah, you know what, I'm probably okay on items for now because I want to save my money in case we eventually run into a place where I can buy more spells. It's fine, Mythic! They're gonna change the sheets! Treasury! Oh my god, can I... Can I go this way? Listen, I rescued y'all from that dude uh, who was only wearing a snake, so... Yay! My treasure is... Oh my god, he's gonna moonwalk over there. Lolly ho! Oh, I wanted to watch him moonwalk down the stairs. Oh my god. Otter shroom? Wait, otter shroom? Like it's a mushroom that's also an otter? Lolly. Hee hee! Teleports the party out of dungeons? A killer bow! Gauntlets? Oh, some scholar gear! Yay! I have a book of fire and a robe. Oh my god, wow, like a ton of stuff. Wowzers. Can you use books? No. Cool, I get a hat. Shield and Gissel Greens. Oh, what did you. Oh, Gissel Greens doing this one? A certain bird's favorite snack. <gasps> oh my god, I know exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the Chocobo Forest and we're gonna try to use this item in that bush. Because that makes sense. Also, this shield is really cool, but what about Double Sword though? I hope you'll make good use of our treasure. Thanks, buddy. Hat. It is a hat specifically for scholars. It's very pointy. Also, I guess I can probably sell a few things too. Uh, I'm 
quick run down. I don't want these. arrows and we could try out ranger I like how these have less attack but they are more expensive probably because they deal elemental damage yeah but I mean what if scholars like pointy hats all the scholar gear is made out of a special thread that only the most righteous people can see. Wait a minute, Loki. That sounds like the plot to the Emperor's New Clothes. <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait just a daily darn minute there. Oh, also, hey chat, I have a question. For the arrows for Ranger, it, do you only have to buy one of these or do you have to buy like a bunch of arrows and it uses an arrow per attack? Just one? Okay, I was like, mm, these seem really expensive for needing to buy multiple arrows, so I'm gonna double check. <laughs> before I literally launch my entire bank account at it. Aw, oh, man. See, I want to try out Ranger, but also Sword Chucks seem cool. It kind of feels like I have to play a Scholar for this next thing. But I'm going to save that, and I'm, I'm definitely... I think I'm going to make play a Ranger afterwards. Smell of chocobos in the air. Yeah, what happens when I use L use the green? Where to go? Is he still there? <gasps> no! I'm gonna... Oh, okay, that's kind of what I was worried about is that I would need more Gistle Greens in order to summon him again. Hmm. I'm wondering then... You know what? I might reload my save and not use it right away because I don't need to store things right now. Like, I still technically have inventory space. He stole all my items and fled the country. I don't think so. I don't know, whatever. Whatevs. I'll... I know where he lives. Yeah, I don't know. 
I think he stores them in his tummy. Let's see. I don't... Oh! I was like, where do I need to go? And then I realized that I can use the map. I was going to try to remember where this town was, and then I realized I conveniently don't need to. Don't have to use brain. with a library book. You have late fees, Sahagen! Can't move! There they are! Seize them! Take that and that! Bring them along! Castle Hine is always in need of fresh servants! Oh, yo, that dude totally tricked us. And now we're in prison! Woo! It's officially a JRPG now. It's officially a JRPG. We're in prison. Also, just a tiny hole here. Yeah, we could totally squeeze through if we had many. Master Hine was Argus's most trusted advisor until the earthquake. It's like he's been at the behest of some dark force ever since. Yeah, I tried to go to your castle and no one was home. So I guess I'm gonna have to do something about that now. I'm Argus, ruler of the castle north of the desert. But I can hardly call myself a king when all my subjects are missing. Hine cursed my soldiers, you see. Bending them to his will. Blast it all. He was once my most trusted advisor. <coughs> Are you all right, your majesty? I'll be fine. What matters is that you find Hein and defeat him. Why can I only think of Hein's bottled ketchup? Let's be a small. Okay, everyone's miniaturized. Let's go. Could you have too much Final Fantasy XIV, though, fairly? I don't know about that. Ew, what's this creepy egg? No one answered that, but I am very concerned. That is an egg, and I am concerned. Oh, good! Some pharaohs! Oh my god, y'all! Look at what a badass we are! That is the coolest guy ever. <laughs> Why did knights look so cool with shades? <laughs> That's like a straight up, what, what is it, like a JoJo pose? Is he gonna, is he gonna start dabbing on these pharaohs? Uh, what happens if I throw this at you? Do you, you want to be tickled by items? A 
I put my sunglasses on nights. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you know what? Actually, I wanna... No, not Susie. I wanna use the ranger, because look at how cute he is. No, you know what? You gonna be a lefty. to find more magic because not even like blind and stuff is... I feel like they have to have those spells those are pretty basic Final Fantasy spells but I haven't seen them yet I've only seen Poison Eye we are getting a lot of Phoenix Downs which is super good also wait a minute this is like legit the castle that's all hacked up like this? Ew. Y'all need to call the exterminator. I mean, blind does look really cool in this one, but I, I think it does actually affect you. The reason why it's perfect in FF6 is that you can just wear sunglasses and there's no consequences. by the way, what have y'all been up to? Ooh, royal sword, eh? Do you mind if I do? Seems good. Wow, it's a dollar hand.
You love my party member names. Thank you, Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, that Dolahan really lost their head. All these eggs is so creepy, man. Hey, Metal. Hey, Crow Crow. Welcome. It is a really nice spray, Matthew. I agree. Oh, you have a date tomorrow, Vinny. That's exciting. I hope it goes well. I hope you all have a nice time. Games is asleep. She slept. There's a raccoon roaming around in the parking lot. Are they looking for food? Angry Trees is yelling vines to me through the door. <laughs> nice, another phoenix down. Hello, Lamia. Oh, Lamia is confused, apparently. Time to accidentally hurt myself. I hurt myself today. Lamia told me I should. Ooh, an elixir. I have three of those now. That's great. Good stuff, good stuff. Also, I like the fact that I can take advantage of quick save existing so that I don't have to walk all the way through dungeons anymore. Because who has time for that, right? Yo, I love this dude's sprite. He is literally a skeleton wearing a fancy red mage hat. That's dope. It's Hein, the mage! This fountain of corruption, dark power is truly spectacular! You could never understand! With this power, I can move forests, control armies, I can hold the world in the palm of my hand! All those who dare oppose me will be annihilated! I got it for that to change the scholar. Whoopsies. Oh my god, he's so extra! I love him! Look at Hyde with the drip, man! This is just good, yes! Very yes. I like that. Okay, apparently he is not actually undead. Sad. I definitely was hoping he was undead. Oh my god, I can change equipment in combat? You can change, you can change your equipment in combat. What is this nonsense? Barrier shift, change weaknesses. Yeah, I, I probably should have, you know, brought a scholar, that would have been smart.
Can I turn you into a toad? No. Alright, Blizzard it is. Thunder. No, okay, it is fire. Cool. So it is not an order like Magimaster. That's fine. Play's doing the least amount of damage anyway. really neat because I can change equipment I can now swap out swords and I can test this shit Oop, bye play yep cool now I know it's ice one at some point because it'd be funnier. Whoop. Oh. Oops. That was not a button I meant to push. Apparently there is a button to just repeat your action and I did not know that. Apparently if you hit X it just repeats your actions. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. That's not really what I meant to do. <gasps> Wait a minute. Do I have two of those? It's awesome August or something. I'll wait! Tempest, thank you for that 310 days. I... Shoot, I didn't see whether or not I dealt damage. <laughs> Whoopsies! Oh well, 
I guess I'll just do this instead. Oh, all right. Well, there goes Doesn't, so... Now we get to play a game of Guess the Weakness, but with swords. Hi, Ed. Hey, Tackle. How are y'all doing? and then also your last actions. I wonder if there's a way to disable that, because I have definitely um, hacked myself up doing that. Can we start right into woods? Let's go! Actually, this battle, Spell Knight. Fire. Oh, heck, I should have done the AoE, Kira. Don't worry, we'll eventually get it right. We'll eventually get it right! one or two pixel remasters, so I kind of want to wait and not really know anything about them. I mean, obviously I've played and beaten those games before in other versions, but I haven't actually seen anything of the remasters. I guess we'll just melee. Hi Jay, how are you doing? There's been a time, Orochi. If you type exclamation point fatales, there's the link for the whole schedule. It's literally on there. It, it's on there. You, you just control F Spoonie. So I'm just going to swap out the first one because that'll be easier. Oh, 
Oh, why are we not playing in Wingdings? Because we haven't hit a thousand sub points, Orma. to my woods, I will return the humans lost within my walls to where their roots belong. Oh, is that where we are? Is the floating tree? Wild. Huzzah! Thank you. Y you're welcome. Let us be off. The journey may not be smooth, but journeys seldom are. Saplings, you may alight. Let's get down. Did he just call us saplings? Also, it's a little dusty in here. At long last, I'm back where I belong. Thank you. You saved our wood. How heroic. Darkness threatens to envelop our world. You've been chosen by the light to ensure balance is not upset. Take this with you. Use it to find your way when darkness blocks your path. Is it a flashlight? No, it's a fang. You obtain the fang of wind. Hind's atrocities wrought havoc within my roots and trunk. I fear I must refuse visitors to these woods for at least a millennium while I yield. Warriors, you have my thanks. Now go and dispel the darkness of the world. You're our last hope. Oh, no worries, Tess. Well, thank you for understanding. Yeah, it's just, it's like literally the first time that I'm playing this game, so I don't know anything about it. And I, I like for it to stay that way. So I'll share my thoughts out loud a lot. But pretty much I don't want to know anything about the game unless I specifically say, hey chat, and ask about it. Because I tend to get really excited about discovering new things. <laughs> also, yeah, Dozen and Play are dead. But they did a good job. Oh. What? Oh, okay. I guess I can't go in there anymore ever again. Okay then, goodbye forever, tree. I guess. Also, apparently we're having a hard time running away from things much more than us. I just don't really want to worry about fighting them at the moment. Oh good, our boat's still there too. You saved the town! Thank you! You're welcome! Y'all got an inn or anything?
Yeah, I'm really into uh, no longer having emotional support corpses and instead party members because this is not a solo challenge run. <laughs> But, uh, this town's like, nah, fam, we got nothing. This town is nothing for us, I guess. Uh, all right. What's over here? Castle Argus? I don't think that place probably has anything. Vikings, well, Vikings Cove will at least have a place to heal. It was fun. I really enjoyed the solo Red Maze challenge. I wonder how feasible a solo thief challenge would be in the pixel remasters. I feel like it would be a lot more reasonable. Big Gooey Fishes, how are you doing? Okay, so we are gonna go recover our party members. And then we're gonna stay in the end so that they are not, you know, horribly dead. <laughs> I mean, Ranger seems cool, I guess, but I'm not gonna lie, I still really miss punching things. I miss punching things, so I think I'm gonna go back to Monk for a little while and play. so it seems unusually cruel to force them to tank it. Wait, no, yes, I do do want to save, thank you. Do want to rest in in. Very yes. Okay, so I guess next we're looking for a place where we are stopped by darkness. Since we now have the Fang of Wind. ahead and save and we've been live for I don't know, like two and a half hours or so it's getting close to nine i am i'm out of i'm out of drink so i'm gonna take a small break here i'm gonna stretch my legs go get some to drink and when i come back there will be more final fantasy 3 thank you all so much for hanging out don't go too far or if you do just come back because there will be more video games <laughs>
Alrighty, y'all, I am back. Thank you so much for waiting. I hope you had a nice break. I got something to drink and said hi to Angry Trees. Ha diddly diddly doo. And I'm ready to play some more Final Fantasy III. Yay! I have no idea where to go next, but we do have a map, so I feel like we can probably figure it out. There's got to be some mysterious cave full of darkness somewhere. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, I have an idea. I has idea. Now that I actually have a real boat, I think I can go to that one town that's stuck behind those mountains. Thank you for the welcome back. Hey, Pyrelight. I am. I like colors. I also like gay t-shirts. <laughs> How are you doing today? Ideas are dangerous. Let's get dangerous. Dark winged up. I guess I could just like melee all of these for a little extra XP. You're doing great. I'm glad to hear that, Pyre. Day two of Awesome August is going pretty swell, in my opinion. Dude, moving sideways is both so weird and so cool. Hi, Sea Serpent. Bonk. Slicey bonk. Okay, so there is a little section over here on the east side where I tried to get to this town behind some mountains before, but was unable to. But now we have an actual full boat, so I feel like Either that's where I need to go next, or it's at the very least a location that I can get to now that maybe has magic. Oh, hey, it's Gissel! Dope. I tend this flock. Hey, now, I told you not to go over there. such a handful, but that's the job, I suppose. Come back here, you woolly nuisance. Okay, that was cute. Yeah, like that time we had to ram our airship into a boulder and then we lost the airship and... Oh my gosh. I know what I need to do next. King Argus was the guy that we needed to talk to for the airship upgrades. And we saved him. So we definitely need to go talk to him. Ooh, displays HP and weaknesses. Confused, silence, silence. Ooh, break. <gasps> Lazaga, shame. Okay, well, we definitely want that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That also seems good. travels all the way out here. Well, that might be because there's mountains in the way. Hey! You 
can't just tra traipse all over my prize veggies. Huh. My goodness. <gasps> chocobo chamber. Let me tell you all a secret. You know how chocobos love gissel greens, right? Well, here's how to find the leader of the chocobo flock that lives in the chocobo forest. Put a bushel of gissel greens by the tree in the middle of the woods. If you're lucky, you may get a glimpse of that big fella. Oh, I actually already knew that, but thank you. Thanks, though, sir. That would have been helpful if it weren't for the fact that I already played Final Fantasy IV. Ooh, what kind of ice cream did you order? Magic key. <gasps> Opens locked doors? Yeah, I'll take, uh, 20. <laughs> I'll take, like, 20 of those? Thanks. Sounds great. Now I can break into people's houses. I mean, what? I didn't say nothing. I didn't say a single thing about breaking into people's houses and stealing all of their stuff, even though their doors are locked, because I'm the protagonist, and clearly it is within everyone's best interest for me to be able to take whatever I need. That chocobo can store items in its tummy. Convenient, but so unhygienic. Oh, it does store it in its tummy. Can I play this piano? Routine. Wait, what was that? No, I don't want to see you dance. Wait, actually, yes, I do, because I don't know if there's maybe there's a dancer class here. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. Wait, you don't believe me, Belle? <laughs> Nothing super special. Oh, a Blizzard from Dairy Queen. Oh my God, the ones with M and M's. Those are good. I I like getting the M and M McFlurries at McDonald's. Oh no, now I want one of those. But they are closed. Maybe I'll get one tomorrow. Wait, do I actually need to rest any? Nah, we're good actually. Hey, sorry, then good. How are you doing today? To reach yourself 2021. What's this item store, I wonder? Oh wait, oh, duh! I literally just came from here. That's the key store. Hmm. Wait a minute. I do want to see, can I get in there? Darn. Ooh, I found a magic key and some Gissel Greens over here. And another magic key. Dope. Hidden things. Cool, all right, so that's the town of Gissel. Good to know, that's where I can buy some Gissel Greens and also magic keys. So, I think what I want to do is go up to Castle Argus and see if maybe Argus can tell me something about airship upgrades. That's, that's kind of the only hint my brain is currently thinking of. And if it's not that, well, then we'll worry about it when we get there. I don't know, Fairly, but they are really pretty. They are super duper pretty. Just like chat. They do take forever to clean Orma, although I have I have had them make ice cream for me within like an hour of closing. So I think it really depends on the employees. I feel like I have a cat hair on my face, but I I can't find it. 
Hi, Yami, how are you? I mean, which I do totally get, at least to some extent, because that would be like when I worked at the movie theater, if we had just cleaned all of the popcorn machines, like 30 minutes before closing, and there was like one show left, or like somebody came out in the middle of a show wanting to buy popcorn, and then you had to serve them and then clean the entire popcorn machine again. <laughs> that, that did kind of suck. <laughs> Yes. It worked in your stomach's being dumb. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Yami. I hope you feel better soon. You did get E flask though, so I don't know. Maybe that will help. Maybe it has some tums in it. <laughs> Can we get some hype in the chat? What's inside your flask, Frank? Right? Congrats, Yami. Save. Chat's always cute though, just a game hero. Cause cute chat, hi yeah yeah. Greetings, brave warriors. You've restored peace to my kingdom. You know not the depth of my appreciation. Please accept this in return. It is the Wheel of Time, a device said to have been constructed by the ancients. It has been in my family for generations. Take it to a man named Sid and Kanan. Oh, you're already acquainted? Then I'll spare my explanation. Go to him now, warriors. Oh, wow. Oh my god, a considerate NPC that's not going to repeat information that I already know? I love you. Yo, I, I like King Argus. Yo, oh, you love Wheel of Time. I tried to get into Wheel of Time, Penmeister, but Angry Trees and I listened to the audiobook. And unfortunately, the guy who read it, like, he was perfectly fine, but the way he said, blood and ashes. And he said it just like that every single time. And they say blood and ashes so much, at least in the first book, that I just got really frustrated and I could not even. <laughs> so I don't necessarily recommend the audiobook. I feel like just just reading it yourself, that's that's probably better. <laughs> Hi, Jelly. How are you doing today? Oh, you were broke. Hadn't bought lunch, so you snorted a line of the popping salt for $20 for lunch? That sounds really painful, Orma. But you did say you were in high school, so, like, at least that's understandable that maybe you do some kind of dumb, because I feel like a lot of us did dumb stuff in high school. <laughs> for me to buy, right? No, these are all old. I just need to go talk to Sid. You get to see your cat again? Oh, that's exciting, Jesta. Yeah, I just, they said blood and ashes so much. I really, like, I wish, I wish that I had tried to read it as just the book instead of the audiobook. But when Angry Trees and I, we like to read together, but we actually physically read at different paces. So we tried to read, at first we tried reading Hogfather uh, without an audiobook. And I would read slightly faster than him. So Terry Pratchett novels, for those of you who've read them, you know, they're comedies. So I would laugh. And then Angry Trees wouldn't get to the part in the book that I was for like another 30 seconds. So it's like he would know something funny was going to happen and then it wouldn't be as funny. <laughs> 
So instead, we started uh, doing a thing where we listen to the audiobook and read through at the pace that the audiobook's reading it. So we can actually stay together on it. It works a lot better, but, you know, there is the small downside of, of things like blood and ashes repeating a lot. It, it tends to be a bit harder to, to listen through. Oh, you're playing the new PoE League. Nice! That's awesome. I hope you're enjoying it, Jelly. Wait, I don't actually remember where Sid is. What? He threw himself into the furnace in the Tower of Owen. He he's probably fine. Are you serious? Are the protagonists really trying to tell this lady that a guy who threw himself into a furnace is probably fine? <laughs> no, I think what they meant was he's probably fire. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that the N was supposed to be an R. He's probably fire. <laughs> Oh, desk, please be all right. No, he was a desk. He was made of wood. He's literally fire now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Border. How are you doing? You saw that one Veggie Tales episode. <laughs> Oh, yay! I'm excited, Trap! Yeah, let me know if you need anything else for it at all. Also, I hope- I hope that even, like, a third of that's usable. Hey, Crimson, how are you? He's- yeah, he's probably fine dining. It'll buff right out! <laughs> Hi, Thought, how are you doing? Oh, you're in a book club with some friends, Jelly, and you're reading Going Postal right now. Oh, I love all of the books with the Watchmen. They're great. Have a good night, Shadow. Thank you for joining us. You rest well. Yeah, there are definitely some folks in the audiobook sphere that are really, really, like, exceptionally talented. Like, Jim Dale. Jim Dale is amazing. I think I like vaguely, I, I just very, very vaguely heard about it, Orma, but I don't know any details. Is it like a TV series? It's gonna be good, you're just rating yourself then to keep it from being an all night project with lots of B roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty much like always. So I, I recorded stuff for the infomercial and Trap's working on editing it, but pro pretty much always I record stuff and I send it to Trap and I'm like, I don't know if any of this is usable because I don't think that I'm funny. And then Trap's like, no, 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 no. And then he makes something really funny out of it. So <laughs> how do you primarily read? Um. That's a good poll, actually. <gasps> Faye, did you make that poll? I like that poll. Do y'all do audiobooks, digital, physical, a combo? I love physical books, but especially living in an RV, the space is quite difficult now, so I, I often buy digital books just to not weigh down my house. <laughs> oh, it's a TV series set in the second age? Oh, that's cool. Oh my god. Oh, also, um... There's... Wait, yeah, there's definitely digital versions of the Star Wars books, uh, about... The, the, the ones that you recommended a long time to me, Trap, right? I'm pretty sure there's definitely, like, Kindle versions of those. I'm rereading the Drizzt O'Erden uh, prologue trilogy right now because I love that series. And then I, I might, um, I'll either continue reading through that because I never finished all the books, or I might just like go read some Star Wars stuff I kept intending to want, uh, read. 
I'm getting all of my words mixed up as usual because my brain is potato sauce. If only we had the Wheel of Time. Man, if only we had a copy of Wheel of Time, guys! Listen, folks, if we had a copy of Wheel of Time, Sid's whole life would change! <laughs> What's potato sauce? You don't want to know. <laughs> You've been wanting to pick up an e-ink-based e-reader, but the one he wants also a writing tablet? Ah, okay, the fact that it's a writing tablet is really swaggy and uh, also, can you, can you send me a link to that, Bell? That sounds fucking dope. That sounds so dope. Oh, there's also good audiobooks for them? Nice. Yeah, I used to read right before bed all the time, Johnny, and, um... It became a bit harder for me, like, getting older because, you know, Angry Trees, he, he can't really sleep with, like, lights on. So we, what we started doing, because we both love reading anyway, we started reading books together at night. And then I also have, like, we both have our own books that we kind of read on our own, too, during the day. Like, I've been starting a thing where instead of waking up and immediately, like, looking at Twitter and stuff, I will instead read uh, a few pages or a chapter or something from a book. And it's, it's a really nice, cozy way to wake up. If I'm not funny, what does that say about your humor? I, I don't know, Techie. <laughs> also, I'm glad to hear you're doing all right, Bob. And you had a day off and got to play this. That's wonderful. I was uh, I was using a ranger kit earlier, but it don't I don't know they don't seem that super bright right now. So I like swordy kid, uh, punchy kid, black mage kid, white mage kid. It's good good child combination. <laughs> yeah, I love the the Driz to Urden novels fairly. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but one day when I was a kid, I stayed home from school sick. But, you know, I was quote-unquote sick. I wasn't actually sick. I just really didn't feel like going to school. Like, I needed... The truth was, I needed, like, a mental health day. And I was a child, so I didn't really know how to express that. But my mom let me stay home from school. Uh, the only thing was that, uh, you know, because she didn't want me to get into a habit of staying home from school just to, like, play video games. Which I completely... You know, I think that's fair. Because as a kid, I probably totally would have tried to do that. But I wasn't allowed to be on the computer or watch TV or anything. And I literally, like, I had read through all of my books so many times that I didn't feel like reading any of those. So I asked my brother, and he gave me the first book in the Drizzt Orden uh, prologue trilogy, where he actually is, like, born and lives in Minzo Baranazan, and it talks about him leaving the city of the Drow and all that. And I literally read through the first book in, like, six hours. Later that evening, I knocked on my brother's door and I was like, do you have the second book? <laughs> I, I just, I absolutely fell in love with those books. Oh, you think you'll probably do the audio version of Wheel of Time as you've been interested in reading it again, but haven't found the box they are in. Oh, it's in Smoothie. Well, I hope you can, can find them. How often does Jim Butcher release books at Crystor? The, the s was Stormlight Archives, uh, there, there was like a new book that came out, was that earlier this year? Or was that last year? Because I think Ash mentioned it and was reading through it. Oh my gosh, I'm like really far behind on chat now because I was talking about books. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sick because I want to play the new Zelda game. Also, Sid's going to make us a new airship, also called the Enterprise. The Enterprise 2.0. Electric Boogaloo. Well, that's cool, Silver. Back when Angry Trees and I used to sell books on Amazon, I would listen to podcasts. Like, uh, I listened to a lot of uh, Night Vale. Welcome to Night Vale. Hi, Corrupt. Uh, this is actually the Pixel Remaster on Steam. I don't really know how far into it I am since it's actually my first playthrough. This is the only Final Fantasy game in the main series that I haven't played. Uh, if you've played it before, then maybe this would help you determine. But I am getting the Enterprise 2.0 from Sid. I have two fangs. 
Yay! When you're in the op on the open ocean, press a confirm button to convert the ship into an airship. You can only make landing on water, so be careful. Sorry, couldn't remember how to get it to land on solid ground. Uh oh. All right then, that's weird. Convertible airship boat. Oh, you, okay, Jim took a bit of a break for a while, but released two books last year for Dresden. Oh, okay. That must be what I'm thinking of. I haven't read any of the Jim Butcher books. Oh, I, yeah, I love Welcome to Night Vale. I mean, I'm like super far behind in it, Jack Doo. I've only listened to like the first 20 or 30 episodes and there's like, oh my God, over 200 or something. Oh wow, and it still can't go over mountains. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> what an unusual airship. Uh, huh. Still don't know what that's about. this cave oh right that's right I literally just talked about the fact that Sid said he forgot how to make it land on land which doesn't make any sense but speaking of audiobooks Sandman book one is free on audible right now oh dope I've always wanted to read uh, that's Neil Gaiman's Sandman right Oh, I'm excited for you too, Jelly. I love four through six and ten. They're all great. Egg. Bitty love what are words? Bitty. Bitty burp and can we eat them? Hi, Bitty. We're talking about books. We're talking about books. <laughs> Hello, Egg. Raiders. Hi. Bitty I'm love Celine. what are words? Bitty burp and can we eat them? Bitty yes, no. you can you can eat words. They they also are available on books. Although I feel like paper probably doesn't taste that good, so maybe don't eat the paper that the words are on. <laughs> Hi Raiders, I'm Scooty, and I have this lovely video to welcome you to the stream. <laughs> Okay. Mood, you also forgot what day it was. <laughs> Dude, that happens to me. Like, literally, if I take a single day off that's not my normal day off, Biddy, my entire brain just 
like turns backwards inside my head and I'm like, I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> it's been a week. Well, I hope you and Maxie are doing well. Also, Barnes, by the way, if you're not following Biddy, you should fix that because she is heckin' wonderful. Biddy's fantastic. She plays Dead by Daylight. She plays Phasmophobia, a bunch of other variety of stuff. Go follow her, please. Oh my god, that reminds me! Biddy, did you end up doing the Paper Mario speed run? Did you do the piggy percent? Hey, Brian C, how are you? Oh yeah, Desk threw himself into a furnace. A man with a trouser snake stole a horn. I walked through lava and took no damage. <laughs> it's It's been a wild ride. Oh, also a skeleton man with a fancy hat. Um, had an elemental shield and I punched my way through it instead of, you know, using magic. Like the intended strategy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but soon. <laughs> well, I definitely, definitely want to watch when you do get around school, but obviously no rush. <gasps> Wait, oh, were you playing 14? Are you playing 14 today? Or wait, who got the relic? I'm con sorry, I'm confused. Oh, you played it yesterday! Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I didn't remember seeing that on my follow list today. Oh, you finished the MSQ? Hell yeah, that's awesome. Congrats on finishing it and getting the Astro Relic. I need to finish the rest of the patch content on my character. Also, by the way, right now, in case you're curious what I'm doing, uh, right now I am mostly wandering around in circles. Uh, currently, all I really know, because I have this airship, I definitely probably need to use this airship to get somewhere. I don't know where yet. And also, there is probably a cave somewhere that I need to enter that I couldn't before, like there. Like maybe there? I don't know. I don't know how to get to that cave. That seems impossible because I can't go through mountains. I still can't go through mountains. But there is this cave. I don't know. I don't know if I've actually been to this cave or not. So I guess let's find out. Oh yeah, this is the, the other side of the Vikings Cove. When's Chaos Effect 2.0? <laughs> when I emotionally recover. <laughs> Hi, Taco. How are you? Oh, so am I good. Taco. Look what Ku got me. It's Legion. It's Legion. I got a box from Koo earlier today. Of course, of course he has a soul. Hang on here, because I, I know, I know, Taco, you didn't get a chance to see it up close earlier when I opened it. Those, those of y'all that like Mass Effect as much as I do, or I don't know, it doesn't have to be as much as I do, but this is Legion. Who sent me this? It's hand painted resin. It's freaking Legion, man. He now has a permanent spot on my desk. This unit has a soul, and its soul lives in my heart. <laughs> he's sit, yeah, he just, he just chills on my desk now. Oh, 
that that's interesting that four square has nothing yesterday you thought it was wednesday so you kept watching your list of channels you follow for me to come on oh oh no and then realized it was tuesday oh i'm sorry okami that's a very unusual looking mandrake Dude, the music in the Pixel remakes is so good. Also, you enjoy your lurk, baby. I love you too. Hmm, thonks. I am thonking about where the heck to go. Oh. Oh. Oh, you can, okay. That, all uh, right, then there's more to explore than the one place that I was. There was more to explore than the one place that I was. That is not something I was expecting. Also, whoa, what is that? What are these? What are those? What are you? Good, what, do you what do you mean Final Fantasy 3 has more than one map? I <sighs> Excuse me while I have brain <laughs> Excuse me brain Uh I'm going to maybe try this temple place first This game keeps blowing my mind Let's see Temple of water Hmm. Okay. Can I go here? A voice echoed through the temple. Only Arya, the priestess of the Temple of Water, is permitted to touch the shard of the water crystal. Arya? Hmm. The water crystal is just a shard? What about this cool cave? Can I go in here? What are you? Crashes into ruby weapon? Thanks for reminding me, Mike. Awesome. Hi, how are you? And oh my god, everything hurts and I am dying. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, Blazaga's so pretty. That was so pretty. Shut. We'll open it. We got like 30 magic keys. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, Orma, I was not expecting the game to have more than one map. I was not expecting that. Because Final Fantasy 1 and 2 don't have more than one map. It just, I'm still... I still don't know what even I uh, brain potato salad. Also, hi Chupon, how are you? <laughs> hi Ra. I you know I was about to apologize for the fact that my brain is basically just like thirty percent vine memes, but I really don't have any reason to apologize for that. Yeah, I just like, man, the fact 
lots of people, like, constantly, constantly about Final Fantasy 2 and 3 would tell me, Old oh, Spoonie, why do you want to play those? Those are the worst Final Fantasies. I'm like, have you played this? You played this? Like, man, y'all gotta play the Pixel Remasters if you thought the originals were bad, because what the hell, this is amazing. Do we play the same video games? Okay, it looks like I can't go to whatever this thing is. So, is this one your favorite, Tom Barry? ship okay hang on I don't I don't know what that's about so I'm gonna save first it's the same people that talk shit about 12 and the laugh scene from 10 you mean the one that was literally planned for Titus to be fake laughing and it happened to make Yuna actually laugh because Titus was trying really hard to make Yuna laugh because she takes everything super seriously because it turns out the entire universe is on her shoulders and she's like 19? Don't, I'm fine, don't worry about me. I'm definitely not having an aneurysm. <laughs> Also, I want to fly this cool ghost ship. Hi, Andy. Hey, Sparkster. Hey, Shockwave. How are y'all doing? Man, that's so cool. I don't know if you would... Maybe you would mention that before Todd Berry, and I just don't remember, but that's really cool. Three is your favorite. Yeah! That too thought... Like, I love the fact that... Because when I when I learned when it, the characters or NPCs rather mention that you're living on a floating continent and you're kind of secluded from the rest of the world, that blew my mind. And I just... I don't know. It was I just was not expecting there to be more like this. This is really cool. Most of the world's under water after that huge earthquake. I was on a boat at the time, luckily enough. I saved that young lady as she was clinging to a piece of driftwood. We're the only survivors as far as I'm aware. Oh my god, and most of the land is missing because of the earthquake. That's why it's so small. Oh my god, that's why there's so much ocean everywhere, because everything else has sunk underwater. Rickety frack. See, that's fair, Yami. Like, that's why I said people that hate 2 and 3 should really play the Pixel Remasters. Because I feel like there's probably some really nice quality of life changes that allow you to more easily just enjoy the story for what is there. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be, though, Shockwave. It's supposed to be awkward. Because <laughs> Titus is... He's literally just trying to freaking make Yuna smile. For once. I say that, like, every single time that gets brought up and somebody starts dissing on Titus for laughing like that. I'm like, yo, you don't even know. I am... I will write an essay. You, I just, bleh, bleh. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have a problem. Um, I definitely don't have like an extreme obsession with Final Fantasy games. Totally not. Nope, there is no penalty for changing jobs, Atma. They decided to include that so that it could be fun. <laughs> Just like how in Final Fantasy 2, there is... Ooh, Blood Sword. There is no... Uh, a, there's no risk of you losing stat points. <sighs> I have an antidote. Do you want it? Oh my god, that worked? <laughs> Yo, that worked! Get it because the game taught me that I could do that earlier with another NPC! Woo! I'm a G! 
genius. <laughs> Where am I? Who are you? What is that power I feel within you? Is it light? You must be the warriors who were gifted with the powers of the crystal. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I am Arya, priestess of the Temple of Water. I help. I help. Yeah, definitely not an obsession. <laughs> Hi, Zephyr. Thank you. How are you today? That works. You used an elixir on her. Oh, no! Oh no, I'm so sorry, Thoth! <laughs> the Earth's power caused that great tremor and buried the water crystal deep underground. Without the water crystal to protect them, the people were turned to stone and sent plummeting into the ocean's depths. Please, take me to the Temple of Water. A shard of the water crystal remains there. If I can return it to the crystal, that might break the curse. But you're injured! I'll be fine. What matters is the fate of the world. <coughs> Please. I need to get to the Temple of Water. Okay. Thank you. Aria of Sorrows has joined the party. He got Wind Wakered. You need to head to bed, works crazy, and we need to get our shots so you can stop having to work crazy hours. But I don't live near you, Tonberry! Also, I know. <laughs> you get some good rest, Tonberry. Thank you for joining us. I hope tomorrow treats you well. It's fine, you got more. That's true. I mean, after all, we're gonna hoard elixirs until the end of the game and then forget to use them, right? You did hear Arya of Sorrows. The lady's name is Arya, so it's like Arya of Sorrows? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This kind of makes me feel like either more stuff's gonna pop up after we save the water temple or we'll be able to go underwater and no one answer that oh my god i can't oh that's gonna be so cool you can't use your elixirs on the boss you might have another form and you'll need them then what if you need them in the credits for the super secret haha -ha, you're not really done with the game boss Thank goodness, the light's not yet left the shard completely. Arya carefully took the crystal shard. Come, we must take the shard to the cavern north of here. Okay, cool. That's kind of what I figured. Also, this temple kind of reminds me of the water temple in Secret of Mana. Not like exact graphics, obviously, but just sort of the essence of it. Which I am a fan of. You can't buy ethers. It's the final boss, but I only have 87 of them. You like to piss up your friends by throwing elixirs at undead creatures? Just kidding, you're not that big of a monster. You know I am though, Jelly. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it! Oh wait, I probably should not waste my level 4 spells. In fact, I probably should have stayed at an end. That would have been smart. Maybe I should go do that. I should, I should probably go do that before I, um actually make my way further in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Let's go get our MP charges back. <laughs> you defeated the undead president boss in FF8 by throwing an X potion at him. Nice. 
Oh my god, Val, that reminds me though. In Final Fantasy IX, you know how there's that tree boss and you can kill him by throwing a phoenix down at him? So, uh, Angry Trees didn't finish Final Fantasy IX, but he did get that far. You can, Jelly, because the tree boss is undead. So, uh... I watched Angry Trees fight that boss the hard way, which is, uh, casting fire and hoping that he doesn't counter you to death. And then, after... He finished killing that boss. I said, hey hun, you want you want to know something? You could you could throw a phoenix down at that guy to kill him in one shot. He was very upset. <laughs> he was upset. <laughs> Hey, Margie. Thank you. How are you doing? I like Final Fantasy 13 static. I like 13. Hi, Pook. Spoonie doesn't play games. Spoonie doesn't play games. <laughs> no, he didn't want me to spoil things, Okami. That's why I waited until after. It was just, I got to like very joyously cackle as he got mad about it because, you know, in my first playthrough of Final Fantasy IX, I also didn't know that you could throw a freaking phoenix down at that tree. You weren't a fan of base 13, but you like 13 to Atlanta Returns? See, that's totally cool with me. Cause the thing here, Static, is like, I feel like a lot of us just enjoy a variety of Final Fantasy games and pretty much our stance on it is, it's okay to not like things. It's okay, just don't be a dick about it. It's cool to like or dislike whichever video games you want. As long as we're all, like, chill and just let people have fun with whatever games they do like. Also, that blood sword is very good. Which is why, though, occasionally you will find me ripping into people that pop up and just, like, I don't know, try to say really dumb things, like that Final Fantasy VI is the only Final Fantasy that deserves to get remastered. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Final Fantasy VI. It was my first video game, but like, that ain't true. <laughs> Hi, Dove. Being able to game over with two party members up in 13 tilted you so hard you couldn't finish. See, that's fair. I think that that's like a, a common thing that I have had people tell me of why they didn't like 13, and I. Granted, I liked 13, and that still pissed me off when it happened to me, so I totally get that. I can't rank my favorite Final Fantasy games either. <laughs> Hell yeah, Static! Exactly! Because, like, at the end of the day, if there's a game I just can't stand, but somebody else loves it, good. Because video games are made by people hoping that the thing they create will bring someone else joy and entertainment. So if somebody else enjoys that game, I'm like, hell yeah, you do you. This door is sealed to prevent outsiders from entering the inner sanctum. It can only be opened by a priestess of the water temple. Guess that's you. Arya kneels and murmurs a prayer. 
I would totally play a remaster of Mystic Quest, though. <laughs> Hi, Leo. How are you doing? They should remaster FF14. Isn't that Endwalker? <laughs> the seal on the door dissipated. Shall we proceed? Absolutely. Hey, Drac, how are you doing? God, I would love to see a remaster of Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> and yet, man, think about the bops that would come out of a Mystic Quest remaster. Mm, top tier. With how, with how big a bops the pixel remasters have been, I can only imagine. I wouldn't be surprised, Jelly, if, if that was one he wanted to remake in the future, if he got the chance. We shall see. I will happily and patiently look forward to whatever Final Fantasy we get. HD Benjamin Shrug? I would, man, I'd be very tempted to make that an animated emote. <laughs> Doing good. I'm glad to hear that, Ajax. Yeah, um, granted, I have not actually got to play the FF1 and 2 remasters yet, but I'm really digging this one for my first playthrough of 3. It's the only Final Fantasy I hadn't gotten to play. So, um, from my experience so far, I can say I would recommend them if you're a fan of the original games, or even if you didn't get a chance to play the originals. You know, they're not going to be that old school NES grind for 30 hours kind of hard but I also feel like a lot of us don't have that kind of time to dedicate anymore so it's probably for the best <laughs> like I play video games full time for a living and I still don't want to grind for 30 hours so there, there you go that is a dead end trees looks up to that is a, an author that like if you make something that puts people on two extremes like that like a piece of art that that's that's for the best because that means that those people are having a reaction so like even if someone like passionately hates the game that you made well I guess at least you got a reaction and if somebody passionately loves it Granted, you know, you gotta take that with a grain of salt, because, like, you probably don't want to go around with the sole purpose of making games that people passionately hate. <laughs> There's a guy on the Steam forums that was mad at the remakes. Oh, the re- wait, wait, he's mad at their pixel remasters because they're not as hard as the NES versions and they don't have all the bugs of the NES versions? Didn't play the NES versions, you goofball! <laughs> the pixel remasters are meant to be more approachable. I can understand maybe asking Squeenix, like, hey, would you mind adding in a mode where I can play it on an original NES difficulty? Because that would be cool. But I'm like, why you... Why you like this? Just play NES versions then. I will miss the 
pencil of power, but I have heard it's no longer needed at least. Also, it does seem like the games will be pretty easily moddable, so I'm sure that there will be some kind of fan mod for it. Hi, Zach. How are you doing? You didn't play the early ones as a kid, just seven and up, so it's a nice trip back through the old ones you missed before. Oh, that's cool, Ajax. I started with FF6, and then I played seven, a tiny bit of eight, nine, and then ten. Uh, funny enough, 10-2 was actually the first Final Fantasy that I ever beat. When I started streaming, the only Final Fantasies I had beaten were 10-2 and 13. I had played a bunch of them, but always stopped at some point or another, because I would get stuck or forget what I was doing. And now I have played and beaten almost every single numbered Final Fantasy on stream. And I love them all. Oh, the, the Peninsula of Power, sorry. It was an area in the original Final Fantasy game that's like a four square at a peninsula where you could run into much higher level enemies. So what people would often do is go there to farm for XP and money. Especially, like, when I did the all-white mage run, I farmed at the Peninsula of Power because they're undead minotaurs. So for my four white mages, I could cast Diaga and get a lot of XP that way. It was, it's, like, pretty much the only way that you could reasonably get four white mages high enough level to make it through the first half of the game. Seven was the first you got your hands on, but your disc glitched at some part. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you, uh, have you picked up the FF7 remake by any chance? I definitely feel like, you know, obviously the two games are like two different experiences, but I also really love the remake. I'm looking forward to part two. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that that's a bad thing either, Static. You know, there's nothing wrong with folks wanting the old difficulty. Like, if that's your jam, cool. But, like, don't force me to play it or <laughs> just... You know, old NES games were hard because that's what they knew to do back then to make games last longer was to make them really grindy to make it so you had to walk all the way back town to town to save to make it so if you died at a boss you had to walk all the way through the dungeon again and we have so many better ways now that technology has evolved of making games longer just don't don't need that anymore Oh, I love I loved 12 Atma. I really did love 12. So I just noticed that games need to be post. I still have never played a Mega Man game. <laughs> I did tell Brian that I would be willing to maybe someday try out Mega Man if he would teach me how to play it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, arcade games were really just made that hard because they wanted your quarters. <laughs> and, like, games were expensive back then. And, you know, they're still expensive now, but, like, if you paid, like, $100 for Fantasy Star 4 and you beat it in, like, I don't know, 10 hours? You'd probably be pretty upset. I think he was gonna maybe have me play Mega Man 2 Static, so no worries there. Died. 
Spoonie Dozen Games. Hi, Yomok. How are you doing? Yeah, I've always heard that Mega Man 2 is really good. I mean, I've, it's hard still from what I've heard, but I've just heard it's a really good game. Oh my god, also I've been having like reverse nostalgia playing FF3 because there's a lot of references to 3 and 14. Um, I don't know, probably another reason why I never really played Mega Man games, though, when I was a kid and haven't played one still, is I am garbage at platforming. <laughs> like, I've, I've beaten some platformers, but for the most part, I feel like if I'm going to play a platformer, I would rather just play a Metroidvania that has some platforming, because I don't really get joy out of platforming games. I, yeah, I mean, I did Hollow Knight any percent, but that's a Metroidvania. It has platforming, but it's not a platformer. It probably would come in handy, though. I have definitely gotten a lot better over the years. Crystal of Water, may you regain your light. Arya returns the faintly gleaming shard to the crystal. Watch out! No! Arya, no! Arya! Spoony! How dare you arrow my new girlfriend! You do not back for Nakachinj. That cursed arrow was meant for you! I am the Kraken, tasked by Master Zande himself to ensure that this crystal never regains its former light. You will not leave here alive! The monster attacks. Oh. I was definitely expecting a sprite a bit more impressive considering what the Kraken looks like in Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> Have I played Ori? Uh, the first one, yeah. I haven't played the second one yet, though. Yo, I heard you probably like Thunder. Kraken Jr. <laughs> Is. I have Bonitis. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Rippy Dippy. Thank you, Snowman, for the 250 bits. You still get a laugh out of it every time I'm selecting spells in my Black Mage, and it just says doesn't magic. Yep, doesn't magic. <laughs> doesn't magic. Ooh. Also, games magic. Also, hi, Dishim. How are you doing? Oh, you just mean you don't need to place it anywhere. Yeah! It's definitely 
probably still on the list somewhere. Hi, Samus. How are you? It's going pretty great. Um, I've been beating the crap out of bosses by essentially just refusing to stop fighting them even if I'm too low level until the game bends over and gives me the RNG I need to win. Because I am a Final Fantasy speedrunner and we don't take no for an answer. <laughs> Bye, Kraken! Bye-bye! I do play Bard in 14. <laughs> Actually, my character's name is Spoonie Bard. <laughs> Light has returned to the crystal. My purpose is fulfilled. Thank you for everything. Aria, stay with us. This title is yours. It is imbued with the power of water. Received a title from Aria that holds the power of water. Geoman- Oh, Geomancer! Dragoon, Viking, Black Belt, Dark Knight, Evoker, and Bard jobs. That sounds dope. Arya, hang in there. It is my time. You must continue your journey. Without me, the world needs light to dispel the darkness. Do this for me. Bring back peace. Arya! Farewell. No, Aria. Another earthquake. It's too dangerous to stay here. We can't just leave Aria. Watch out! Ah! Well, that's so many good jobs that I don't know what to do and also hey i was right <gasps> look everyone i was correct there's land yeah 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 there's land and stuff to explore oh you're finally awake three days is a long time to sleep you don't say where are we this is Amur, the town of water my grandpa found you all collapsed in the ruins of the temple We've been out for three days. Three days? Oh my god, how am I supposed to decide on a job now? This is a problem. Uh, also, yeah, I kind of feel like... Oh my god, look at Viking! It's literally a dwarf! <gasps> oh man, that is so good. Also, there's a dark knight. Loker. Oh, look at the bard! Dude! Dude, <laughs> lolly ho, neighbor! <laughs> okay, uh, this is going to be a difficult decision. Let's get some gear first. <laughs> Maybe I should see what gear they have. That dwarf is just straight- yeah, it is! It's straight up G up from- yeah, from FF14. It absolutely is. A thousand percent. Oh my god, the bard does kind of look like me before I had green hair. Is it me or does Geomancer looks like black mage in pajamas? in pajamas as his night night clothing <laughs> black mage ready for bed he even has a bell thank you snowman for the 250 bits and the facts oh also wait what oh huh was that supposed to be the Oh, oh, Jelly, were you talking about how uh, you totally used to get, like, penalized for switching jobs? Because that, yeah, you don't get penalized in the Pixel Remaster. They got rid of that. You know why? Because it was unfun. 
Now you can switch freely, willy nilly. The only thing is, um, if you switch to a class that has MP charges, you don't have any MP charges until you stay at the end. Have a good night, Belle. Thank you for joining okay. us. You rest well. Hi, Lair. How are you doing? It's good to see ya. Um, yeah, so obviously Spoonie has to be a bard. That's like a given. But we're gonna need so much armor. Holy cow. And although... Black Belt seems really fun. There's also Viking. So I'm like, dude, no, 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 no. Listen, y'all, we gotta go Viking, okay? We could literally be a freaking dwarf. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be a freaking dwarf? I want to be a dwarf. Hell yeah. I don't know, Jelly. You could. I just went ahead and bought FF3 for now, but they do have the whole bundle you can buy. <gasps> A Viking helmet. Oh, no. There's so much good stuff. Hang on. I should buy weapons first. Hey, Murdoch. Hey, Mooga Muffins. How y'all doing? Play grew that beard real fast. <laughs> Plays into it. <gasps> Wait a minute! Main Gouch? Yo, that is totally a dagger in Final Fantasy XI. Okay, that is literally like one of the best daggers in Final Fantasy XI before the level cap got raised from 75 to 99. I'm just gonna move my arms a lot because I like Final Fantasy XI facts. <laughs> Yo, wrap the karma nose! Karma, you get me. <laughs> Dude! Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> A Thunder Spear. Met her harp. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to sell stuff so I can afford things. But, oh man, I don't know what all I am safe to sell. I think we're going to have to farm money. Because I really want to play these jobs. Also, I have no idea what armor Bard can wear. So we're probably going to have to find some. Also, we're definitely dual wielding. Wait, what? What's up, Feifei? No, sorry, I, I completely missed that in my excitement for all these new jobs. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's save. Okay, let's let's see about maybe farming a little money. And I guess I need to figure out where is a good place to farm money. If this game's anything like Final Fantasy 2, this is a good place. <gasps> Pay on. Oh, <laughs> Raw attacks. Oh my god, can I scream at the enemies so they attack me? 
Yo, that is so dope. I'm literally screaming at the enemies so they attack me. Is your Simon and Garfunkel cover band? <laughs> I should probably have been paying attention to how much money we got from those fights. Wait, there's an Avatar The Last Airbender game? Oh, is that what you were talking about, Fei Fei? For realsies? Oh, also, hey, Chad, I have a question for you. He chatted his question. How do you learn more songs in Final Fantasy III? Is it pianos? Please tell me it's pianos. If we're gonna do an all dwarf party, we at least need one habit. No, no, that's only if we have 13 dwarves has. Is it just job level based? Egg! I read Google, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on in, I hope you enjoy the emotes. I still didn't pay attention to how much skill I got. We're at 3,212? Like 500? Thank you, Fire Fang. I, I just, I kept forgetting to actually pay attention and look at how much money we were making. <laughs> Oh, in the 3D version, it was based on what harp you had equipped? I'll take a look at my harp then and see if it mentions anything. Yeah, I don't know either, Yami, because in FF5, you learn songs from the pianos. But I don't know about this game, because this came beforehand. Oh my goodness, so many things have bad breath in this game. That's checking out the wiki saying that harp should give me that song? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. So then, I guess I need to find other harps for other songs. Also, sorry about the sound. I was just gonna go to the end to get rid of this. Wait, shoot, that's right. The end doesn't get rid of status effects, does it? I don't remember. I guess let's go find out. No, because it doesn't get rid of Toad. Definitely buy more stuff. Oh, the last airbender TTRPG is also based on the same system as masks. Oh, my God, I love that system. 
That was so much fun to play with. So I'm curious. Hey chat, I'm, I'm just gonna ask this question as well, considering my only other thing would be to like buy another heart for 10,000 gold right now and I don't wanna do that. <laughs> uh, can you equip two harps as Bard? Because I know a lot of the other classes, you've been able to equip two of a weapon, but I wasn't sure if Bard also qualifies. What? They chained my boat? They chained my boat! They chained my boat. Jerks. Saves the whole continent from being sunk under the water. Has boat chained down. We've been impounded. <laughs> You broke yourself? You can't stop laughing. What did you do, Trop? What did you do? <laughs> yeah, I did. I actually realized that, Murdoch, in, when I was fighting the, like, wannabe lich dude, that you could change equipment because uh, my black mage died and I forgot to actually change jobs to scholar. So instead, I beat the crap out of that lich guy a hundred damage at a time by swapping out elemental swords with my knight. I'm also very, very much enjoying this version of FF3. You can't sell me here. Yeah, if you, if you wanna send it to me, I can watch it after stream. <laughs> See the wagon! See the wagon? He's right there! You just beat the stuffing out of him? Fair. Very fair. You think in order for you to be alive, you need to stop grinding for the relic weapon in 14? I mean, you. Yeah, you, you could. You can always take a break from it for now, Tempest, and get back to it another time, right? So that it, you don't burn out too bad. I know those things definitely can take a long time to farm. You hate the grind so much you've just been pounding whiskey. Yeah, that, that sounds... Uh, I mean, whiskey's delicious, but... The grind for the relic weapon does not sound so fun. Oh my god, you'd rather go back to 1.x Then Why are you doing it, silly? <laughs> you can stop at any time. No one is forcing you to get the relic weapon. You don't have to do it, Tempest. You have my permission to quit, okay? Don't be like me and fall for sunk cost fallacy. Quit while you're ahead if it's making you miserable. Bonk. Dude, those flails are dope. Never mind, I was scared and now I'm not. That had the same 
<laughs> the same sprite as salamanders, so I got worried for a sec. Trap, I'm not calling you out for anything, by the way. You literally watched... You watched a clip of the results of me literally running down the same hallway in Metroid for 45 minutes. Okay, I spent 45 minutes running down the same hallway determined to do something in Metroid Fusion that I could have just walked over to a side room and put down a bomb and been done with in 15 seconds. I am never judging because I would have no room to talk. <laughs> Ooh, maybe down there is where I need to go. Yeah, Metroid's booty percent run. <laughs> the end was worth it, I agree. You should- Oh, I should have seen what you were determined to skip something in Super Metroid, then when you skipped it, you were- It was a blank wall. It, it was a, it was a blank wall. <laughs> now you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to tell me what part that was in the game, Trop. Especially if we hit, listen, if we hit the, the goal to do the Super Metroid randomizer when I get to that point in the game, let me know. Did it beat Fusion? Oh no, not yet. But I spent like 45 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I, I like re remembered how to do Shine Spark Murdoch, which, as far as I know, they don't even explain how to do infusion. You just can do it. There's, um, there's an energy tank in one of the rooms. I don't remember what section, but what you can do if you want is, uh, you do the the dashy thing and you can like bash your head up against the two blocks and it breaks them but if you only break one block on it yeah it was that room um i shine sparked down the hallway made a perfect jump to not do a ledge grab onto that one block so i went diagonal i did a perfect diagonal jump up there managed to get into place and shine sparked up to get the energy tank right before it ran out and then afterward, chat finally was like, okay, now that you've done this the hard way that you were determined to do, can we tell you the way you were supposed to get it? And uh, the way I was supposed to get it was much more ridiculous and easy, and I laughed very hard, and also I just sank into a bottomless bog, but I'm sure it's fine. And by fine, I mean we can't cross it. <laughs> You once spent about 40 hours just to get outside the map in 14, but walking out on the water in Shiragane was worth it. Yo, that sounds worth. Nightmare King Grim. Like three hours in, I managed to finally beat him. But when I killed him, it was at the same time that he killed me, and the game counted me dying first. So I had to redo it. <laughs> Cursing very intently 
And then a lot of silent dad anger that actually had people whispering the mod team to make sure I was okay. <laughs> when I beat that guy, I did it! I beat him fair and square. <laughs> Drops. That's what I was looking for. Wait, I need to sort this again. Thank you, Murdoch. I refused for ask for to ask for help because I was like, dude, I learned how to do this in Super Metroid three years ago. I'm gonna sit here digging into the back of my mind until I re remember it. <laughs> Cause I'm just a very stubborn lady. Which, you know, to be, to be honest, is probably not the smartest thing all the time. But it's fun. Let's see, I think I have two of these, yeah. Can we point at that clip and tell people that I don't play games? Yes. <laughs> Roga, can you just do me a favor? And anytime somebody tries to give me unsolicited advice for how to beat video games, can you just link that clip? <laughs> For info, I suggest the tavern. All the blabbermouths in town hang out there. What happened should be the problem, youngsters. We need to get into the sewers to retrieve some lemongrass shoes. Wait, what? We do? Huh? Wait, huh? What? I skipped something and now, uh, okay. The sewers? No, you can't go in there. Too many monsters. That's why they're sealed, don't you see? Look, we're on a mission and we need to find the final crystal. This is important. And you say crystal, so you four are the real warriors of legend. I should have seen a sewer visit coming. <laughs> thank you, Trop. That's perfect. And thank you, Faye. That's also perfect. Those are both perfect. I love them both. Do you hear that? These kids think they're the chosen ones. Haha, <laughs> don't they know that's us? They seem so convinced it's them. They seem dead set on getting into those sewers. Guess we gotta beat them to it. Yeah, beat them to it. Understood. I'll lead the way to the sewage. Don't fall behind, youngsters. Uh, I wasn't ready for this. But I guess I'm going now. <laughs> now, where's that keyhole? Uh, clunk. There you go. Follow the water way down and you'll find the shore entrance. Don't get over your head, you hear? Uh, thank you. Thank you, old man, who told me, um, a thing I apparently need that I didn't know that I needed because I skipped a step and it's fine because the game doesn't care. Surprise, shorty! It's a sewer level! Shoot, though, I still don't have any 
freaking equipment for <laughs> She has no armor! My bard has no armor! Naked bard. Oh well, I guess. I'm gonna s I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go sleep in the end and then save and then I guess we'll go to the sewers. I have no idea, Orma. I did not actually look at what the original names were. Sewer, I hardly know her. Oh, so I think they were talking about the kids that were playing Nibelung. I think those were the, I think those old dudes think that they are the heroes of light and they're like, oh, look at these children that are the main characters in this game who think they're the heroes of light. Okay, the original names were nameless. Okay, and then the DS game gave them names. Hi, Arcoas. I have never gotten far enough into Dark Souls to get to Blight Town, but I have heard stories. <gasps> Twin Liger? A liger, Napoleon's favorite, favorite animal. just not dig Dark Souls? I mean, I really only played it for like four hours a really long time ago, Wafo. I think if anything, my hesitation in ever playing a Dark Souls again is that I know inevitably what's going to happen is that if I stream it, people are going to try to tell me how to play and or be like, oh, get good. Which is uh, kind of like super oppressive of it being enjoyable. <laughs> Claws. That makes me want to go monk again. I would, with that said, like to give Bloodborne a try because I've heard that that is more friendly to people who have an aggressive play style, which definitely describes me. Hey, Hellblade Wolfbot, how you doing? Welcome. Hey, Mar. Oh, really fairly? Yeah, I didn't get past like the first 10 minutes of the DS version of this game because I got really motion sick <laughs> from the cave. And the DS Onion Knight's a secret job? Huh. That seems odd. Pretty much, Orma. Why heal when you can just move forward and, you know, barrel over everything because you're too stubborn to die? <laughs> oh, I've heard good things about Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, I will never play Sekiro. I've heard it's an amazing game. I love watching people play it. But listen, I am garbage at parrying and I refuse to learn. I know that I will just get mad. <laughs> I know that I will just rage quit, all right? I am a dodge roll or um, punch them while tanking them until they die kind of lady. <laughs> I, If a game gives me a shotgun, I'm going to use it. Help! 
Hey, it's those old timers from earlier. Wait, we could see them outside of that house? We can't just leave them to fight on their own. We can't? I mean, I feel like we definitely could. I feel like we definitely, definitely could do that if we wanted to. Exactly, DPS is just future damage mitigation. We would have been goners without your help. We owe you one. I guess this proves we're not the legendary heroes after all. Such a shame. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Ha ha ha. Okay, see you later, four old dudes with really cool pink hair and matching suits. Sorry you were incapable of winning against four goblins, which were the enemies from the beginning of the game. But don't worry, I have enough beard for all of us. What made they think, oh, them think they were chosen heroes? I don't know, I guess because they thought it would be cool to be chosen heroes, which to be fair, it would be. It would be very cool to be a chosen hero, because then you would get, like, magic powers and stuff. You'd get stuff. Stuff is cool. Also, holy cow, the fact that we get, like, 24 level 1 magic charges is really bonkers. Grass shoes. If you gents trust them, then I'll take your word on it. Here, these are the real shoes. I can't believe that this old lady was gonna throw a bomb in the shape of shoes at a group of small children. That is wildly irresponsible. <laughs> That's why you're stuck in the sewers once again. Thanks, for, anyway, thanks for the shoes. I'm leaving. You four may not be the chosen warriors, but you are true warriors at heart. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha, it was nothing. We best be off. Hang on tight. I'll teleport us out of here in no time. Whoopee! So they couldn't fight goblins, but they can teleport? That's, that's cool, I guess. So long and thanks for all the shoes. Let's see. Nobody can actually 
cookies. I don't know if I can really afford... It's like, I could afford it if I sell all this stuff, but I'm like, what if I need it? I have a problem, chat. I have a problem where I can't sell anything because I'm worried I need it. I mean, you're right, Rockstar. She does have to make sure the shoes don't fall into the wrong hands. Because after all, if the shoe was on the other foot, we'd, we'd probably do that too, right? Got him. It's totally not relatable. <laughs> you know me, Feifei. Most unrelatable streamer on Twitch. Can't throw a fucking thing away. <laughs> Can I? Oh my god, I still can't leave. I still can't leave. Oh my god, I just realized I forgot to stay in the end again. Whoops. If the shoe's on the other foot, you'd have two left shoes. My left foot always do better than the right one. Hi, Rio. How are you doing today? Yes, I will save game. Also slip. Many slips. Look at all of these slip. Okay, so now we're actually at full health and stuff. I can't really afford any other gear for any other classes right now. Anyway, uh, let's just go for it. You're doing good. Played more Star Wars and produced Crystal Tower Quest. Nice! I got a couple of crystals. And also, we have Viking, which is dope. I am now Clay the Viking. It is Orma. It's been uh, confusing some folks. Mainly for me, because I'm not currently playing 14. It just gives me nostalgia. Look at the little man in the canoe. So wait, it wasn't up here, because this is that other temple. I need to go around. Wait, can I go down this way? No. Oh, I wanted to go down the waterfall. A net! That doesn't look like a net. That looks like a fish. That's true, Fairly. I Because I don't play games. Ollie's just really, really good at it. And I've been trained well to follow along. It's been messing with you? You've been playing Andromeda and have me on sort of in the background, so you've been hearing that and getting confused, like, why do I have a 14 cell? I don't even have 14 running. <laughs> Understandable. That would confuse me too. Hey Cloudy One, how are you? Also, wow, is it already almost 11? I feel like I'm late and most of the stream went by. Owie. 
also Owie. finally get to play it. fantasies of all time <sighs> I mean it's a really good piece of history in the series and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to play it so badly The party incited the fury of the ancient statues. Oh. Okay then. La 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 la. Yeah, that's definitely not menacing as hell. Disrespect your surroundings. Da 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 da. Heck, I don't remember where the swamp was. It's over here. I went the wrong way entirely. I found it. Cool, I found it. 
Chocobos are apex predators, damn straight. Honestly, Orna, if I hadn't already, like, spent a bunch of money on a Super NT and other things, I would totally have thrown down the money on a PS5 just to play the FF7 DLC, knowing full well that I'd eventually be buying 16 and 7 Part 2 anyway. It's just, like, I have so many things to play that I just don't... Like, I don't really need to buy one right now, you know? I'm not lacking for games. Oh, nice, Cloudy. Do I want to know something about the original FF3 on NES? Uh, as long as it won't spoil anything for me in this version, Shenron. Yes. Hi, Ollie. What is it, bud? Hi. What you doing? rushing out to get a console like you usually do but you also have such a backlog yeah I know that feeling <laughs> oh the bog and the statues gave you a game over in the NES and DS versions the statues I actually definitely expected to get some kind of game over with the way that it like faded to black I was like oh no I made a mistake and then I was fine mysteriously so also cool I opened this door but it's empty I'm glad that it's not a game over anymore because that sucks to walk all that way and then just die <laughs> definitely be keeping a closer eye out for a PS5 whenever there's a release date for Final Fantasy 16. I'm glad I bought all those magic keys. You know, for these empty ass rooms. And these statues of, uh... Erdrick or whatever the heck his name is from Dragon Warrior. <laughs> I'm like, ah, yes, good. Exactly what I needed. Ow! Okay, these guys hurt. Gil, that's not too shabby. It's not my fault that they wouldn't give me any gear, Orma. <laughs> they literally won't give me any gear. Ah. 
I see. So you basically just kind of have to hope that you find the correct one. Good night, Roga. Thank you for joining us. You rest well. Bookshelves. gear for Bard and there wasn't any to buy other than the heart. I mean, Dark Knight also seems dope. swords that I have, so never mind. Oh my gosh. Why can't I use any hiking swords? I'm like, yo, I just want to try out my new jobs. Heck. Game says, nah uh No, 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 no. What do you need, a frickin' scythe like an FF11? Nope, nobody answered that, but I kind of feel like that might be the case. Oh, hey, nightmares, cool.
Dark Knight doesn't want to use other people's swords. I'm gonna give up my crystal over my dead body! Okay, we can make that happen. Yo, I like your cape though. It's a shame I'm about to stain it with your blood. based on the amount of damage that doesn't did with that last Blazaga. Uh, I have a pair of 
mutual motion glove shade. I, I'm actually an affiliate with them, and I mean, they work well for me, but I always tell people your mileage may vary. We've had several folks report back that they work for them, but it definitely depends on each person. I'm gonna keep trying to cast Blizzard and see if we can deal any damage with it, but we'll see. I can also try Arrow again next round. Oh, hey, also I have my pop filter, so it is officially stream now. Stab at him. How much damage will that heal, I wonder? Let's find out. Also, yeah, Arrow still does nothing. Ow, that's gonna be, uh... You have killed my white mage, sir. That is very rude. Relying on, relying on my melee folks to do that. Ugh. Physically attack everything! I mean, I feel like he's gotta be close to deadish, maybe, considering he started casting a higher level spell now. Yeah, who knew that play would be the key to victory? Egg! Code and Dana, thank you for resubbing for four months. Welcome back, I appreciate that. Also, okay, uh, I guess he's just gonna keep trying to take my melee folks out. That's fine. Just fine. Sir. into a million pieces. Not the crystal, how could you? Now it will never be yours. <laughs> Goldor dropped the key to unlock the chains around the ship, but as soon as he grasped it, it disappeared. What? Oh, oh, okay. Sure, I... <laughs> the curse is lifted and the airship can be flown once more. Oh, so, okay, so the chains on the ship were actually a curse. I missed that part. <laughs> Our ship is unchained, but the crystal's gone. What do we do now? So this, this gold ore guy just, like, was a total ass, basically? That, that's what I'm getting out of this. He was a total ass and he just like cursed our ship to be chained or something? I don't know. 
Anyway, I'm out of here. It's true, you can't win if you don't play. Oh my goodness, though. I'm probably gonna have to just run away from these fights. We are kind of on our last leg here. You know what I just noticed? How come I haven't found a single tent in this game yet? D like, I literally haven't found a single tent. Not one. Very unusual. Alright, I'm taking this chocobo and I'm gonna go to a town with an inn. <laughs> and I'm gonna go uh, sleep there. Yes, please, Thoth. I, I was like, oh, I like the entire story of why we were stuck here because <laughs> I guess they decided not to make forest flags so then I just sort of skipped over a couple of steps whoopsies my bad oh I also have some money now so I can afford things People in the town by the ship tell you about this guy. Oh, and then he's almost immune to magic? About how and why your ship is chained up? And then, oh, and then you like need some shoes to cross the bog. Yeah, I just sort of decided to just, you know, move forward at a brisk pace. Anything that a dark knight can use. <laughs> Why do? Attack blade blitz and items. I mean, I could just be another dwarf. That's totally an option. I could just be a dwarf. for the win. Is that a tent in your pocket or are you just a Final Fantasy protagonist? Good question. I don't know. I don't 
know why he would think we're evil. I mean, look at how cool we look. Oh, also, I did want to go back and see what the heck was in that back room. I feel like it was probably just another empty room or something, but I'm really curious. So I'm gonna go find out real quick. Plus, you know, this place really did have a lot of, uh, a lot of guilt. These folks drop a lot of money. Probably because the whole place is made of gold. Have a good night, Evil One. Thank you for joining us. You rest well. Hey, Cedric. How are you doing? Na, 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 na. Ra, na, 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 Have a good night, Majin. You rest well. Thank you for joining us, too. Okay, apparently you're just gonna hit my white maiden until she's almost dead. That's fine. You just, you just nearly die. I just want to see what's here. Like, what is this? I want to basically, I want to see if I missed any treasure. That was my main concern. Because I didn't really find any treasure in here. You okay? Pretty tired, but you need to check on some stuff for work tomorrow. I'm glad to hear you're doing alright, though. Every time I look over at chat, because I have to... I, I turn my head between the two monitors, but I, I keep seeing this... Seeing Legion now and it makes me smile. <laughs> Yo, I'm pretty sure that is just like a giant row of treasure down there. <gasps> Gold bears! Hello. Bears! Beats! Battlestar Galactica! I still feel like it looks like a dude in a bear suit. Also not sand bears, sadly. I wish it was sand bears. Sand bears are great. I'm also really sad, still, Jay, that that jersey you bought of the Eatenheim sand bears, that they like removed that option on Amazon right after you bought it because I really want one. <laughs> Golden sword. Oh my god. What? The. F Why do these all have golden swords in them? And then, okay. A million golden swords and a wavering claw. An expensive sword made of pure gold. And then also some dope ass claws. Can I, like. I feel like these probably don't have, they probably don't do a lot of damage. I feel like that's for me to sell. Oh no. I think these knights got upset that we took all their swords. Yeah, 
I just really, really love, really love gold. There's something I missed. That'd be cool. Thank you. So there, there was somebody on Amazon Techie selling jerseys where you could customize them. And Jay found and bought one for the Yeetenheim Sand Bears. And then like right after he bought one, they vanished off the face of the earth. And they're gone now and I'm sad because I wanted one. <laughs> Make this palace good for gold bears. Gotta make the palace good for gold bears, guys. <laughs> that I like. I like that, Darkius. Thank you. Also, hi. I hope you're doing well today. I don't care, Jay. I wanted to listen. I really wanted to spend fifty dollars on a joke jersey because it looked like it was really well made. That's what made me sad, is you sent me a picture of it, and I was like, dude, that actually looks like they put effort into making it. I want one. <laughs> oh, the world map tells you how many hidden items and chests are in each location? Well, that's cool. I didn't notice that before. Thank you. Let's see. So... Oh yeah, oh my god, it does! It literally says that in the bottom left. That's so cool. I only got one of the sewers chests. $50. I think he was just saying that he he paid that for the jersey, which was basically paying $50 for a joke. But I don't consider it a loss. It's a good joke. The room full of gold sores reminds you of a warehouse full of unsold surface tablets or a desert full of ET for Atari cards. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if these gold swords sell for anything. Oh, actually they do. <laughs> and they only have attack plus five. So basically, yeah, they're garbage swords. Yeah, don't, I'll take that. Don't mind me, I will take the money from that, thank you. There's gotta be one somewhere, Techie. I just, I would just need to look into it a lot cl more closely. a little as well still at 29,000 so hopefully we can find some other gear in other places now that we will have access to them all this 
is the weirdest feeling. The compression gloves have you so relaxed and feeling nice, you just want to curl up and go to sleep because it's the first time in weeks your hands haven't hurt. Oh, goodness. Oh, fairly. I, I mean, as much as I am sad to hear that that is the case where your hands have been hurting for so long, I'm so glad to hear that the gloves have helped that much. You totally should get some rest. Check out these cool statues. What? Oh, can I not? Nope, apparently you can't land in lakes. Got it. All right, I just want to go see what happens when I walk up to these statues now. Are they still going to stare at me in anger? Yes. Got it. And then we'll, we'll be attacked by angry death beetles. Oh my god! Okay. You could say that death part again. Good grief. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a good reason to save. <laughs> You know, apparently we did come to the wrong neighborhood. I'm so sorry I've disturbed you. Holy shit. Wowzers. That was a lot more hostility than I expected. Maybe we'll just go to this other continent. Maybe they'll be a little more friendly. Whoa! What is this? This place is huge! Also, they're shooting down my airship. Destroying my airships. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh. Fight for your honor and your lives. No. Why did you shoot my airship, you dicks? What makes you think you outsiders can just waltz under the castle grounds? Get out! But... But now I have to walk! This is unfair! I don't want to walk! <laughs> there was once a tunnel that connected the dungeons of Castle Seronia to the bottom of the ocean. It's blocked off now, but maybe you could get in from the ocean floor. I mean, yeah, this is like the umpteenth time we've got the airship back and it's been like blown up, it crashes, it shatters, it gets chained by a curse. Like wowzers, nobody wants me. No one wants us to have an airship. Also, I can't buy magic! I hate this place. <laughs> Go away! The library is closed! Apparently I can't find information on anything at the Seronian library, miss, because it's closed. <laughs> Only a dragoon can defeat the avian monster Garuda. That's what I heard. Great. Guess who didn't buy a spear for a dragoon before she left that one town? 
this lady! This is the Ceronian Library. It's been closed for a while now. Y thank you, Captain Obvious. <sighs> Stop blowing holes in my ship! Ceronia is divided into four districts. Uh huh. And I hate it here, it's awful. My research mainly involves the study of chocobos. I've discovered how to call forth the fat chocobo. Voila! Thanks, I guess. I guess I can store a few items for classes I'm not using at the moment. <sighs> Alright, well. This place sucks. It was a young man in the tavern who was a dead ringer for the prince. He was in this tavern right here. Okay, thank you, old man. Get a load of this brat. He thinks he's the prince of the kingdom. What a laugh. Ha 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 ha. Hey there, little prince. What's the matter? Can't got your tongue? Leave him alone. Oh, the liar prince's buddies have showed up. Sick him, boys. Oh, you want to fight me? Okay. Bitch, you what? He must be the prince. He hasn't got shit all over him. Have a good night, Metal. Thank you for joining us. There's part of you as a joke that just wants to make a Final Fantasy III thumbnail that's just broken airships. I mean, it could be me dressed up as uh, the Warrior of Light, one of them, like gesturing to like, what the hell? And like a giant pile of ships or being like, haha, whoopsies, my bad. And there's just like five airships stacked up, falling apart on fire. Ouch, oof, have mercy. I am Alice, son of Gorn and heir to the throne of Seronia. Thank you for coming to my aid. What on earth happened to Seronia? This is not easy to say, but my father has changed. He suddenly pitted our armed forces against each other. I tried to talk sense into him, but he could not be swayed. He sent me to exile. I realize you are but travelers to our land, but would you lend me your aid? I must return to the castle and reason with my father. Of course, your highness. After all, your asshole dad shot down my airship! So I can't go anywhere if I tried. Okay, I guess we'll go solve your problems! <laughs> I can't hold all these broken airships. But I can hold all my broken hearts. Oh my god, I literally can't buy gear. This is horse nonsense. My, yeah, my primary motivation is to kick everyone's ass who keeps breaking all my airships. <laughs> like, I'm gonna double check the other ones, but I feel like they're also going to say they're sealed shut. Like, if there's a store, I feel like it's not going to be open. Why are the chocobos here? 
Chocobo, giddy up! <laughs> what? Okay. Alright then. <laughs> That's not really what I wanted to do, but okay. Dragon Spire? What the heck's a Dragon Spire? Is there gonna be a dragon at the top of it? No, just, okay, free gear? Maybe not free, but definitely gear for a dragoon, which I do need. I actually do need that. It's a bird bath. Dragoon stuff, nice. Yeah, they're literally giving me gear to have like two dragoons. All right, I guess we're going to be dragoons now because the game says so. But I'm going to dual wield spears because heck you. Viking for now. I'm happy I checked here though because I was just saying how the game definitely told me that I was going to need a dragoon, but I wasn't really sure what to do with that information because I couldn't buy any gear. Yep, we're a Stinian now. Watch out. particular corner of Seronia. How is play so tanky? Dwarf. At least that that's what I assume. Tanky because dwarf. Okay, there's an inn here and another magic shop. Is this one sealed? Yes. Yes it is. Every store is sealed shut. Except for this one, okay. Hmm. Nah. Because Garuda is win, so I feel like that's a terrible idea to buy. Basically, basically Final Fantasy Act. It's just MSQ gated content. I'll just have to come back, I guess, when we beat the crap out of the king for shooting down my airship. Or at least I'm hoping that's what will happen. It probably won't, but I can always dream. just going to stay at the end.
Man, because small. Majesty is scheduled for tomorrow. This room is yours to use as you wish until then. Rest well tonight. I don't trust that at all. I definitely feel like we're going to get stabbed in our sleep. Am I disturbing you? Uh, yes. I mean, no. Totally not, your highness. I cannot sleep for worry. What could my father be thinking? Am I not his own flesh and blood? Does he not care for me? How could a father exile his own son? He must care for you, your highness. There isn't a parent in the world that doesn't love their child. There must be something else to this. Perhaps. Tomorrow we can meet with the king and ask for an explanation. That does little to assuage my worry. I'm pretty sure I said that word wrong, but whatever. The king attacked with a knife! Oh! Oh, I see. So you're gonna stab your own son? Death to the prince! Father, stop! What's come over you? Mr. Gigametz entered the room. What are you doing, sire? Don't stop! Kill the prince! Ugh. The king turned the knife on himself instead! Father! I won't be manipulated any longer. But how? How can he withstand my mind control? I would rather die than raise a hand against my beloved son. I will not submit to your manipulation. Then you will perish, fool. The prince will join you shortly! Stop! You'll have to get past us first! Huh! You're barely worth the trouble. I'll dispose of you in no time! Gigamet's attacked! Oh! Oh, it's actually Garuda! I was gonna say, what do you like, discount Galoof? So maybe those spears would have been worth buying. Holy damn. I see what they mean about uh, dragoons being really good against Garuda. Of course, she just gonna spam. Again, I guess. Wee! Father! Alice, my son, I've been under the minister's control for so long. Father, it's not your. 
I do not deserve forgiveness, nor do I expect it. Just know that your return has saved me. My soul is now freed from that torturous hold. Alice, please, you must take your rightful place on the throne and bring peace to Seronia once more. Ugh. Father! I love you. You have my thanks for me. Like a fool, I doubted my father's love. I'm not a fool. You clearly loved him. I will assume the throne as rightful king of Seronia, as was my father's wish. Without your help, Gilgamesh's crimes would never have come to light. Thank you. All hail King Alice! Also, can we get an airship again, maybe? Thank you, brave warriors! I, you, yeah, your, uh, your mind control dad made us out an airship. Can I, can I have one of those back, please? No? Alright then. <laughs> okay, I guess. Okay. Hooray! Uh, yay, I can use... Oh, there's a treasure vault! Cool, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the... the... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go take your treasure then, thanks. Ooh, that is a lot of stuff. Although, one of those was rusty mail, which I feel like is not used. What? Why is there so much rusty mail? How is that treasure? There's a basement? Cool, the basement has more treasure. Earthen bell, more rusty mail. This is mostly junk. I mean, I got some... I got some Geomancer stuff, I guess. I'll take it. The only ones powerful enough to cause the calamity we're facing now are those three mages and Dalg. The Nautilus's engine should be powerful enough to get you through the gales to the cross-shaped peninsula. You must head for the Dalg continent now, warriors! Oh. When he died, the great mage Noah bequeathed his powers to his three disciples, Zandi, Doga, and Une. And I guess they turned out to be jerks, huh? We're the Seronian Engineer Corps. You're welcome to take our Nautilus airship. It was dug out of some ancient ruins and we fixed it up. We'll go get it. Yay, an airship! Woo! Huh? Wait for me! Yay! Give airship, please. Please tell me that's not the sound of it being broken. We parked it outside the castle for you. The Nautilus should even get you through the gales of the Dalg continent. Fly safely. Yay! Hooray! I didn't lose my airship forever. Also, it's definitely still going to get destroyed. I guarantee you it's going to get destroyed at the next plot point, but that's fine. We. That's cool. It looks like a submarine. Um... Hey, the library is open again, I guess. And all these stores are open, so I can buy more magic. Ooh, line up. Do -do -do. 
so I want to stay in the end, but I, I need to, uh, I don't remember where that place was that I found to recover them from being KO'd. There was a spot in one of these. I'll just check all the stores while I'm at it. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's a nice upgrade for my casters who have not gotten an upgrade in a while. Oh, I think so too, Maureen. I'm I'm honestly happy if their goal was to give us pixel remasters that would remind us of how we felt playing the originals, but removing some of the older difficulties and things that just aren't fun, you know? That they learned really just didn't turn out that great. I think that they did a great job with it. Granted, I know that it probably won't be every single person's cup of tea, but this was definitely what I was hoping for. Also, this one dude literally won't move off this bridge, and I don't like him at all. He's literally just walking back and forth on the bridge that I need to leave. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a turd. This is just the place with the Dragon Tower. I don't think it actually had any stores. I don't want to pay the bridge toll. I've already lost like three airships. <laughs> I don't know if it's an issue so much as funny though, Rio. Well rested. Good stuff. Let's check these other stores. Mm, nope, I already have all that. Hey, Crowball, how you doing? so I don't think that I'm going to bother purchasing more of them. That's probably fine. Oh. Yo! Oh my god, I just realized that doesn't can wear that scholar hat. Oh, dude. Um, I need to go see if anyone else sells the scholar hats then. Because that would be good to upgrade games with as well. I may also purchase two wind spears, but I want to go check for this other stuff first. So I gotta go back to the armor shop. 
I want to fit. I know it's already midnight, but I want to finish my shopping. Shopping is important. Ooh! Yes, please. Yup, that's what I'm spending my money on. That's what I've spent my money on. Good day. five stuff that's definitely what I was hoping for let me check and see if this store happens to have that scholar hat they do I can't quite afford one so I don't know what else I can get rid of honestly I can get rid of this six hours it's past midnight i think this is a great time to call it a night we've made a ton of progress a ton of progress also i have some dope classes and dope gear now and level five spells uh, i think we have an idea of where to go next and we'll be continuing tomorrow around 6 p.m pacific so thank you all so much for joining me today i appreciate it Hi, I'm Spoonie. If you, you know, I don't know, hadn't figured that out somehow by now. Hi, I'm Spoonie. I play a lot of RPGs and retro games. If that's your Jiminy Jams, we would love to have you again sometime. I usually stream five days a week starting at 6 p.m. Pacific. I've also got Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. Please share and chat if you want to check them out. Most of all, don't forget to hit the follow button if you haven't already and you're interested in joining us again sometime. I am gonna go eat food because my tummy is rumbling. <laughs> <laughs>